The following podcast has been rated listener MA. It contains strong language, violence, adult situations, nudity. Listener discretion is advised. Uh, would you rather give up cheese or blowjobs for the rest of your life? <laughs> blowjobs all day. I, I'm the same. I'm fucking Yeah, way. they hurt my jaw. Blank. Rejected name for condoms. Gosh, I don't know. Cock koozies, jizz mittens, ham holsters, kidnappers. Yeah, try it now! <laughs> <laughs> try it, try it now! What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. I am your host. My name is Scotty German, a.k.a. Scooter McFuckstick. And alongside me, as usual, for the most part, I have two... <laughs> most part. I have, a, I have two above-average comedians first. He is the most non-homosexual, homosexual, funny guy we know and love, Mr. J.P. It's good to be back, man. Yes. Hey, buddy. Yep. And also another very excellent stand-up comedian who just came out with his very first special, Mr. Mike Baldwin. Hey. Thanks. Thanks this is, for having me. This is a very positive team of laughing on the sidelines guys right here. Fuck you. It's very positive. Nobody's being brought down. Everybody's happy. It's a I'm good not day. happy. I went to two funerals last week. Oh, well, fuck. Okay. Well, we'll get to that in just okay. a second. Don't have to do anything to for those every, people I'm ever trying again. To bring, any, bring it down. <laughs> just bring it down. Uh, well, shit. Uh, welcome to a whole bunch of new listeners. I know we have a lot of new listeners coming to the show. Oh, yeah, welcome man. to that. Don't uh, blame them. Yeah, no kidding. If this is the very first time you've ever listened to one of these episodes, uh, Newsflash, this is a comedy podcast where we like to make inappropriate jokes about the current events that are going on in sports and inappropriate jokes that have nothing to do with sports whatsoever. In fact, they're all targeted towards me, and that's fine. Uh, but this is also an adult podcast where we like to use foul language and offend as many groups of people as we possibly can. Uh, basically, you find it offensive. I found it funny. That's why I'm happier than you. Uh, thank you very much, Ricky Gervais. By, by and the way. don't forget to tell him sometimes I take my dick out. <laughs> no, he doesn't. He does. Oh shit! We I, got oh, what? Uh, I found. I found. Hold on. You found a dick uh, no. out. You found a dick pic. <laughs> no, I normally say no. We can't do that because YouTube doesn't allow. But those. now they will. Holy shit! I can, I can pull my dick out now. I watch. I watch a lot of uh, stand-up comedians in their podcasts and stuff like that. And one of them, holy god, there was a dude that um, was spreading his asshole on YouTube to uh, show how he does something and so it was an educational video and so that made it okay for him to do that oh well i don't think it's okay <laughs> i'll give you the link in a little bit buddy i don't yes, want the please. link <laughs> i'll love to have it <laughs> i was talking to jp <laughs> anything I, prob- I, I don't like <laughs> asshole related <laughs> anything jp on the other hand loves it except so. love except it. me pooping and yeah. like a fart from a friend yeah i know those are the two. A, a but- fart from a fart from my friend just happens to be the name of my very first album. <laughs> <laughs> but I, we I call that a meef in your album. Yes. Is what it is. I mean, I still don't like it when my friend farts, uh, but I like it more than anybody else that farts. Oh, you know. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, it's kind of a familiar if, brand. If you're on a on a train or something and a stranger how did, farts, how did we get here already. You're like, know. dude. <laughs> Come on, have some respect. <laughs> on a train? I mean, you How know, on or, a plane? or an airplane or in a house. <laughs> would you could you with, with a, a mouse. mouse on a bus? <laughs> I was just trying to think of a place with many strangers, you know? Yeah. So you yeah. picked a fucking train? train it's 2023, yeah. dog. The train, bro. People take trains. Do they really? Yeah, yeah. Subways are the most common form of transportation in America. Newsflash, it's not a fucking train. A subway is still a train. No. What? No. People, they, they're titled, they have the word train right. in the title of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is the stupid shit that we talk about on this show. We're going to get to some really important stuff, <laughs> but are. not before. I know. We talk about subway. We talk right? about friends' buttholes. <laughs> yeah, right. that too. Yeah. God damn it. Uh, but I it, like how excited you were that you saw the guy <laughs> spread his butthole no. on YouTube. You were, yeah. you were excited. You Don't made lie. us stop whatever you else like we were talking out. about. I did freak out. You will never believe this. 
It's not. It's not that it, it was that Did he one. Stick things up there. No, <laughs> I don't oh, know. Because I would stick things up there. No, but it's just the fact that these actually do exist, and and oh, YouTube yeah. thinks it's okay because it's educational material. Awesome. However, we get videos flagged and uh, taken down yeah. because we say things that make people feel uncomfortable. Hmm. You fucking wimp! I would never suck do that. it up. God. Anyway, they only censor the truth. That's, That's exactly right. right. Uh, but yeah. Anyways, uh, we got an excellent show for everybody today. Uh, you know the original stuff that we always like to do: overrated or underrated. That's where I draw the line. Questions and preguntas, and as always, a draft and a shitty situation to wrap up the show. But we like to talk about what happened to us over the last week, JP. Couple of weeks. Um, we call it our week week recap. But we're going to start this week off with Mister Mike Baldwin because you. Uh, oh no. You were here last week. Yeah, I was. Uh So I have less to talk about because it's less time. Yeah. Well, that makes sense. (laughs) But you got a busy week coming up. Yeah, I do have a busy week. I'm getting ready to go to Toledo to do comedy this weekend. And then next weekend, I'm going to be in Duluth, Minnesota doing comedy. Toledo, Delaware? Toledo, Ohio. Oh. Is there any other reason to go to Toledo, Ohio than to do comedy? Not not that I know of. Yeah, I didn't think so. I think there's something to do with uh, spaghetti or chili or something (laughs) up there. Is that Toledo? I don't know. That's probably a whole bunch of cities that nobody wants to go to. They they put like chili on top of spaghetti noodles. That's Cincinnati. Oh, Cincinnati. Okay, then no, there's nothing in Toledo. (laughs) (laughs) I was going to give them chili spaghetti, but they. You got to give that to Cincinnati. They don't even get that. I'm sorry, Toledo, but come see me. It's called Cincinnati chili, not Toledo chili. Toledo chili is something completely different. That's a friend that you made somewhere. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. My name's Toledo chili. All right, that's dumb uh <laughs> but yeah i'm opening for uh kevin bozeman in toledo and then oh, i'm man the, do you know him i fucking love super kevin, funny dude. dude super great dude and then i'm the main guy in duluth i don't know who's opening for me i assume somebody who lives within a few hours of there <laughs> duluth, of man. duluth yeah <laughs> so it ought to be real good <laughs> hopefully it will be yeah um what else i finished suits uh i'm not upset about it because <laughs> you seem upset does, it, does I, it wrap it up i, I obviously am not going to finish it because you finally got it, done it wraps up uh i was pleased okay i was pleased with it i i don't know we if you want to go like season by season we can break it down a little more but for overall it was it was good it okay. was quite enjoyable oh uh, yeah um so i was right Oh yeah, okay. you were you were correct to recommend it. But I will add, like I I had thought about watching it before you brought it up. I gave you the nudge. You did. Yeah, you, you nudged me. Yep. I I jumped off the bridge. You followed. Yep. Hmm. Like I, your mom tells you not to do. I'm a little following That's bitch. Right. <laughs> little following bridge <laughs> little jumper. Follow bitch jumper. Okay. Um. What else did I do? I don't really think anything. I made some ground beef recipes. <laughs> Um, that's 95% of the food that I eat is some ground sort of beef? ground beef recipe. Oh, yeah. All right. I made some hamburgers one day and then I made some tacos the next day. Okay. All right. Might make some chili later this week <laughs> or, or some lasagna. Toledo chili. Toledo chili. You yeah. got to make sure you take the, some of that shit to Toledo. Yeah, right. Lasagna sounds good. Yeah. I'm going to have to swing by the old Dylan's Dylan's on my way home. Yeah. Get the Italian sausage. It's funny because Dylan's don't exist anywhere else nope. in the world. Nope. They're all Kroger. And, and there's 40 of them in uh, the Wichita area. What is the, if I wanted to say a mile radius for how big Wichita is, what would I, what number would I use? Oh God. I have no idea. I, I would 20 mile, 25 radius. mile radius. I mean, if you're talking about the actual city itself, I always call Wichita the 20, the 20 minute city. No matter where you go, in and, and no matter where at on in Wichita, you will get to the place you want in twenty minutes or less. Yeah, that's oh, yeah. that's the rule of thumb. Of For thumb. Sure. I used to live um, like outside of Wichita at the very northeast part of town, and worked at the very west part of town, and it would take me eighteen minutes door to door. So it's it's just the way it rolls. But and yeah, anyways, all right, it's good weekend or good week or whatever. There, Mike, I, I appreciate. It. I never said it was good. It's got to be good. It's got to be good. I just told you about it. You make ground beef meals. <laughs> I mean, what's not to love about that? I don't know how it get can't you, be good. I'm looking, ladies. Get yourself ground some beef ha- recipes. Get yourself some hamburger helper over there, yeah, Mike. Dude. Ooh. Yeah. That, good. I, see, I, I, lasagna is hamburger helper. It's just way more. It's better if you have Italian sausage, bro. 
Mm. You gotta have Italian sausage with lasagna. You can have both, but you gotta have Italian sausage. Yeah, and some ricotta. Sure. Do you say it like that? Fuck ricotta. no. You gotta make your own ricotta. Like the Sopranos and shit. <laughs> I got some fucking ricotta. <laughs> okay. All right. Anyways, uh, JP, uh, we missed you last week. Yeah, um, man, I missed you too, buddy. Yeah, and uh, so um, as as positive as you can possibly be, what uh, would you do? Um, I got an AIDS test and uh, positive it was. <laughs> no, not really. Okay, you have to be having sex to oh, catch AIDS. Yeah, unfortunately. Plus nowadays, you can't, that's, catch, you can't catch AIDS from your hand. It's not even a brag anymore no. to have it these days. Yeah, no. it used to be a big deal back right. in the in the nineties. Yeah, it's like the super gay badass, and now it's just like, yeah, come yeah, on, yeah, man, yeah. do something yeah. a little bit more creative. Yeah. Get Ebola or some shit. It's like you just take a pill every day yeah. forever, it's so it. it just it turns you into. Big Tarvey <laughs> into my grandma basically it's the, it's the, it's the new diabetes it's, it's like yeah new diabetes. just gotta wake up take my pill I'm, I'm basically the Wilford Brimley of AIDS <laughs> he used to have to cut any limbs off Derek's yeah. on his way that route but that's anyway. like oh, that reminds boy. me of Family Guy where they go to the future and Quagmire walks out of some whore's house and he's like well better take my NyQuil cold flu and AIDS <laughs> <laughs> great yep uh, but anyways what all did you do there bud uh, really not much man went to a couple funerals yeah I heard and, uh, and that you know, it is what it is. Yep. Life, you get old like me, and people start dropping. That's you know? the way it is. And yeah, you just have to fucking deal with it, and just thank God it wasn't you. you yeah. know? Sorry, sorry about your hey, friend. Man. Thanks, yeah. or family. Aunt. People yeah. get so bent out of shape when you tell them an honest thing of like, you know what's really fucked up? You're gonna die, and it's like, well, oh yeah, yeah, it's like. Oh, it's yeah, a true statement. Oh, yeah. And yeah. Like, uh, the, uh, I've already died inside. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those I've been are, dead inside for quite some time now. <laughs> those yeah. are true things, but I don't so. want to hear them like from the gas station attendant or right. something. No, you know? no. Yeah. Like, I want to, if I ask how you are, the only acceptable answer I'm is great. fine. Fine, <laughs> yes. thank you. Yeah. I don't want to know, well, we're all going to die someday. <laughs> yeah, it's like, well. son of a bitch. But Did it, I have to get this girl? Yeah, and the answer should always be fine because you trap yourself by i'm doing good how are you yeah, oh you never want to ask yo, how they are because that's what fuck. they want that's, that's what, they, what want. they want they want to tell you about their have shitty you met day. our lord and savior jesus christ <laughs> like yes he Actually, told me to tell yes. you to leave me alone <laughs> yeah he, he wants you to leave me the fuck alone <laughs> i talked to him more recently than you <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, hey everybody, man, uh, Mike Baldwin, Venmo. All right, I brought okay. this. That, I that was see, very organic. I yeah. want to see if I can uh, garner some rent here. <laughs> yeah, okay, fine. I'm broke as fuck. <laughs> hey, we all are. Well, don't worry. You got Toledo. You do. Yeah, hopefully I'll some cash rolling. I'll in. break even. Hopefully, uh, yeah. After imagine, I drive there. It's twelve and a half hours. No, can, the the cool part is, is I know that we actually have a lot of people that listen to the show who are from the Ohio, the like Cincinnati, Ohio area. So if they want to go and see Mike Baldwin at Toledo, they can, and you can, you know, and, and bring him some Cincinnati chili. Yeah, so, for sure. Well, I mean, if you want to, but <laughs> preferably ask if it has onion chunks in it, and. <laughs> If they look at you like you're dumb, then don't order from there because that means that there is, but they like don't hate the onion, so they don't notice that they're in there. Right. You got to ask an onion hater. That's right. Sorry. Okay. Anything else at all there, JP? <laughs> um, bowling. Yeah. Um, got there, two new balls recently. Yeah, you got your ba- to, you got your bowling ball. Yeah, man, starting to work it, starting to work out. I like it. Yeah. I threw it last night for a couple games yeah. and did real well and. Do you have to break you it? You know in? who's b- bowling really good, Derek. Don't say that. I know. I don't want to say it, man. But don't say that. He's doing a pretty good job. Is he happy when he's doing it? Oh, of course not. Is Derek ever happy? <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that before. If he is, I've never seen it. Uh, he's never happy, dude. He, when he won Wheel of Fortune, <laughs> he was still not happy. Like he was like, "Oh dear, the taxes I'm gonna have That's to pay." Exactly what I was gonna <laughs> say. I guarantee it. He looks I like the shittiest, it. the shittiest yes. fucking side of anything positive yeah. that happens to that. Yeah, dude. I won a bunch of money, but I had to pay like fucking ten grand in taxes immediately. It immediately yeah. came out of the money. Are yeah. you fucking serious? You won sixty three thousand yeah. dollars, and well. then he. And if I say that to him still to this day, he was just like, well, actually, actually it, was only, it, was, it was only 40 some thousand dollars. Some of it was like, prizes and we didn't you. even claim those because it was too expensive. Oh, I know. Yeah, dude. 
Uh, but no, but yeah, th- there is something that you are leaving out that's very important. And I want to give a big shout out to Big Scotty over here, uh, who is the fucking man. And uh, also the guys at Gerber Collision, <laughs> who did a fucking excellent job fixing my oh, car. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> yeah, that's man. how good they did. I didn't dude, even, didn't it even looks, notice. Dude, it looks brand fucking new. Oh, yeah. Now, if it ran like it was brand new, I would All fucking right. be... Uh, we'll, loving it. We'll take, We're getting there. We'll, We're getting we'll, there. We'll take care of that. And then later. I'm going to trade it in on a Mazda CX-30 okay. because that's the rental they gave me. Uh-huh. Dude, that thing was badass. Yeah. Except for I'm going to get my new car at the Ford dealership. Yeah. You're going to get a Mazda at the Ford dealership? Ah, you know, they I'm come, gonna, they come gonna in I'm going to get whatever time. Scotty gives me because. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, that's where I <laughs> that's, shop. That's called AIDS. Yeah. Uh, but anyway. Well, <laughs> you have a Honda Fit that I'll sell you for more than a Honda Fit is worth. <laughs> okay. I'll think about it. <laughs> hit me up if you're interested. Hit me up if you're interested. <laughs> or you can. Or, or you can just <laughs> give me the amount that a Honda Fit is worth. This, and then I'll twelve ninety five. This, this show is derailed, and I fucking love it. Uh, but that's good. Man. Right. I'm, I'm glad you got taken care of. Uh, yeah, man. Luckily, I know I did some other shit, but that's okay. I smoke a lot of pot. And I don't remember. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, I did that too. Okay. A well, lot. Luck, luckily, Mike is actually parked in the in the uh, spot of honor, and you may get hit and Dude, get taken care. Let of. Let me tell you this: <laughs> if you get hit, it's not that bad a deal. <laughs> It's actually not too bad a deal. I'm going to just go with, like, still hoping that it just doesn't happen. But, no, here's the thing, man. Trust me. You want it to happen. I don't, though. No, but you do. It's in, no, it's in perfect condition No, you really do. Well, no. It'll be in perfect condition when you're done. And... You'll be able to buy some new shit. <laughs> yeah, did you get some money from insurance? I don't know what you're talking I, about there, Mike. If I did, it wasn't around $1,400. <laughs> Was it the dude's insurance or your own insurance? It would have been his insurance. <laughs> oh, okay. Man, uh, I would have, like... The if, good people at State Farm. If, if he could back State in State Farm to, like, insurance. <laughs> if you're going to back into a motherfucker, carry us. <laughs> just, you're in great hands. I just want you to back into like, the engine. Oh, yeah, like, right. No, didn't be like, sorry, oh, it's totaled. I would much rather if you totaled it out, but yeah. that would have been tough to do, just back it into it. Yeah. I, I want, am, I want somebody to hit me while I'm parked and collapse yeah. the entire car except for a little safe bubble around me mm-hmm. so I can get maximum, like, holy shit, right. dude. Well, if they hit you, I think it may total it. It, it, to, it would have to hit his from the back. Yeah. Yeah, his, his uh, hybrid battery is underneath the back seat. I don't have a hybrid. I thought you do. Fuck no. It's a Honda Fit, bitch. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was a Prius. How dare you? <laughs> it oh looks the my. exact same. It does not look the same. It does, too. Mine, it, you don't even, like, when you look at it, you're like, is that a is that a Chevy Blazer? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> is that an SUV right there? Is that the new Bronco? They are slick. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, they are. Man, they look Is great. That, that the only like reason I, the only reason I, I love the <laughs> it's Honda a Fit. It's Bronco. <laughs> it has a the cup holder to the left of the steering wheel, and oh, that's, that's all you care about. That's, that's why you got it, that's dude. It. I literally I test drove like a, a Volkswagen something and like a Mazda whatever when I was car shopping the last time. This was a few years ago, but every car I was like, yeah, it's nice, but. The cup holder's not on the left. Yeah, like I'm so used to <laughs> setting my coffee in, down. You just walk into the lot. What do you got with a cup holder on the left side? As far as I know, there's not another car in existence that has it. And they discontinued the Honda Fit. I'm thank so oh, upset about thank it. Thank God. Now. Not thank God. <clears throat> oh, okay. You're not in the automotive industry. You don't know why. Why? Because they're pieces of shit. How so? They're just pieces of shit. Is it going to break down on me? Oh, definitely. Every car does. Well, every but I thought Hondas lasted forever. Yeah, keep telling yourself that. That's what the Japanese try to get <laughs> us to think. I mean, I had a, a Honda CRX that went close to three hundred thousand miles. Good for you, man. And I never really had a lot of problems with it. Yeah. Anyways, uh, we're gonna move on to my week because I got a lot of shit that happened over the week. First things first, I, I Thank said, "Thank God, I needed that." You probably do. <clears throat> no, but you'll actually enjoy it. You, oh. You'll actually enjoy Oh, you're this. talking about your week? I'll be back. Oh, thanks, man. Just kidding. All right, man. <laughs> I know. Lay it on me, Scotty. What'd uh, you do? I did take my or I took my wife to dinner. Great. Um, she Where? has she has been wanting to take me to Eldersley Farm now for years. Have you ever heard of this Eberly place? Eldersley Farm. No, no. Eldersley Farm. I don't think so. I think it's Eberly. I, I trust me, I thought it was Eberly Farm or Eberly's Elderly Farm. Elderly Farm. It is 
Elders, it's just a bunch of fucking old people walking <laughs> around. Eldersley Farm. It is actually in Kichai. Okay, so that's okay. not the same it's place. It's not the same place. All right. But apparently, it's just like this this kept secret that it's an actual <sighs> farmhouse that was converted into a restaurant, and it is a like five star Michelin star bullshit restaurant. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. $300 a plate kind of a restaurant. <clears throat> there it is. Eldersley Farm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyways, she's been wanting me to take her or her take me to this place for years, and I've been putting it off because I don't like places like this. And let me tell you why. Yeah. I don't like being in these situations around people that have ridiculous amounts of money and I don't know what fucking utensils to use. Okay. Uh, does that make sense? I mean, the idea makes sense, but... The other thing is they uh, they tell you what you're going to eat. You do not get a menu oh, to yeah. select things off of. This is more of a piece of paper that's just letting you know, hey, this is what, we're having. This is what you're having today. And so I had no idea what I was on. Yeah, so and imagine the little bell. Yeah, yeah. Imagine paying a lot for a meal. How much is a lot? And you don't even okay. get to fucking not pick what you get. It's not three hundred dollars a plate, but it's it's a hundred dollars a plate for sure. Was it? Were, were you like this? Is a one hundred dollar bite of food right here? Um, I, I will say this: the service and the people that work there are excellent human beings. Yeah. Um, but they are also trying to five star the fuck out of this place. There is a pet peeve I have whenever I get food. I am I have a very traditional American idea of when I go to a place that I'm eating food at, and that is if you're going to give me a big ass plate, I need to have a lot of food on that plate. They gave us a fucking giant ass bowl. I shit you not with just the left side of the bowl had like a bunch of little purple potatoes on it with like a drizzle or whatever the fuck a glizzo on it. Had a glizzo. It on had a glizzo yeah, on it. Yeah. And so it was the old purple potato glizzo. Which, I've seen it a million times. Which turned me into Gordon Ramsay and going like the presentation of this is shit. Like why the fuck do you do that? So uh but it was delicious, uh, but that's beside the point. Could you make um, it at home? Fuck yeah! But I mean, you could go to you can actually go to this place and get their ingredients and buy them and make it if you wanted to. Yeah, I know. I'm looking at their uh, cheese selection right now. Their cheese was the bomb. dot com. It was fucking amazing. It's goat cheese because they raise goats. Um, but mm. the shocking thing she got a she wanted to get a charcuterie board, and uh, the cheese was amazing. But the green olives, holy fuck. How do you improve upon the green olives? Oh, my God. They were amazing. Like, if you go to the store and buy a jar of green olives and you like green olives, mm -hmm. that's fine. They're good. I mean, but I feel like oh. you're just going to tell me how that it's good again. It's like, they, I want to know why. They didn't taste like that. They they. They were so fresh. They're homegrown. It's just totally different. I only like black olives because I had one once, and now I can't go back. <laughs> <laughs> I can, that's funny. I can see that being a, a little joke. I can hear you, the Grinch, joke walking stage. out going, it's because I'm green, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, but no, it was, a, it was a phenomenal night. It, it, it was expensive, but it was worth it. I made my wife happy, and then I told her I'm never going to that fucking place ever again. What did you drink? I did not drink. I drank water. Yeah, Scotty quit drinking. I, I'm, I, I know you quit drinking. I just didn't know if they... That seems like a place where like Diet Coke is frowned upon. <laughs> yeah, it is, actually. I don't know if they even had fountain drink. You drank like like sparkling for, water. It's like asking for ketchup with your steak or something. Oh, God, that I, drives me nuts. I hate when people shit on me for the way I like things, you know? I'm like, can I get some ketchup with ketchup this? On like, steak you don't want and ketchup on a steak. Meals. Do you really like ketchup on your steak? If there's no steak sauce, then you are a fucking heathen and belong in hell. I'm just saying, if I don't have anything else, I'm not going to dip it in fucking ranch Mike, or something. Mike, Ooh, Mike, yeah, I've you tried it. It's not it's bad. It's not bad. It's not bad, but you know what's really good? I love a good milk steak. Mm, milk steak is the best. You both don't. are. You both are gonna die. I don't believe yeah. that milk steak is. <laughs> We've already thing. talked about. We've this. established this, uh, but probably the best part of my entire week was it was fantasy football draft. Mm. Hold on. This is why you guys are going to enjoy this. Yes, and, and I'll give fantasy football advice here in a second, but oh. this is also... <laughs> oh, this is, God. Hold on. Hold on. This adds to the sports side. Okay, man. The best part about this that you guys will actually appreciate is this is also the league that Derek Alders actually created, lost several times, 
and then quit because he lost to me three years in a row. And so everybody who was in that league is still in that league. Except the guy who started it. Except Except Derek who started it. it. And so we all got together to draft, and we confirmed that the shittiest team in the entire league will get a plaque with Derek's face on it with a teardrop, and it is called the Alders Award. And the shit-talking on Derek was abundantly amazing. (laughs) Poor Derek. And so uh, it it You guys are like, Derek's never happy. And then you're like, we talk shit about this piece of shit (laughs) for several hours. We made a trophy with him crying on it. He's such a good friend. I don't have it yet. (laughs) He is a good friend, man. He is really an awesome, awesome human being. But but also a giant piece of shit. Also a giant piece of shit. I hate that guy. (laughs) Uh, But yes, so uh, it was a very, very awesome deal. Good, Um, man. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I did get a couple of messages from fans. I do want to give a shout out. One in particular, Ryan Howell from uh, Salem, Virginia. He wanted to tell us he loves listening to the show, and he called himself the OG Cripple. Uh, because uh, he is handicapped. How old is he? No idea. Well, he's probably not the OG. Uh, well, it's true, but, but that's what he called himself, so I, I'm going to go with Jesus like, is the OG. Yeah. He sounds like a young kid to me. Uh, no, I, I mean, I checked the profile picture. He looks like an adult. He's a man? Yeah. All right. But uh, it's really cool we get messages like this, because this is what it's all about. This is a person who said that he, in the message, he even says, I love handicapped jokes or, or crippled jokes or whatever, and that's that's the kind of people that really enjoy and like the show. We make jokes about those people all the time, but they thoroughly enjoy it. So yeah, like, man, thanks for the shout. Uh, thanks for the message. Absolutely. That's, badass. that's, yep. that's fucking badass. They that's like why we like jokes because they like a good knee slapper, yeah, even though they absolutely. can't feel themselves doing it. And that's the exact kind of people that I want to shove in front of people that get offended and say, tell us to shut up. And it's because of people like you, man. So thank you very much. Okay. And later on, I'm going to spread my butthole. (laughs) On YouTube. Yep. As an instructional video. It's going to be instructional. It is. It has to be Mm -hmm. educational. I'm going to leave before he does it. (laughs) Well, no, because we need your help. (laughs) I don't help with that. (laughs) We need your help, man. Okay. Oh, fuck. But anyways, let's get on to the current events. We did have a lot happen. I know this is probably when JP and Mike are probably going to sit there and be quiet. No, I like fantasy football. Tell me all about it. Fantasy football is awesome. That was Um, so convincing man it was i've played a few times i haven't played in the last few years oh but you have played yeah i've done it before but i don't i'm i don't know anything it's like really? filling out a bracket you know i'm like man all right i'll do one i like wow. these guys they're called the bangles <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> big no. mistake no i mean it it legitimately is it's awesome i had there were yeah, two man. guys that cool. fell out of our league we normally have a waiting list to get in it's it's a it's very fancy. It, no, it's because we have you ever heard of, of have you ever heard of <laughs> Elders Lee's <laughs> seventy Final <laughs> Fantasy? <laughs> no, it's, it's very a, exclusive. It, it is kind of exclusive, but um, everybody in there pays attention, so it's very very competitive. Um, and I did really well. I had a great draft. I am fucking just hoping and begging and pleading that I risked all of my running backs are rookies. Every single. Did one you of them. draft a lot of Denver Broncos players? Um, absolute. No, I had one. I drafted Cortland Sutton. Who's oh, your okay. Who's your quarterback? Quarterback is Jalen Hurts. I reached way early for him, but I wanted to make sure I got him. Hmm. Is so, he the best in the league? I think so. I think he'll have the best year this year. But out what of all a, the quarterbacks. What about Patrick Mahomes? I think he actually has a down year this year. You think? Yes. You want to bet? I yeah. want him to. <laughs> I hope uh, you're right. I, I, I do, too. I, now, granted, that also is influenced by how much I dislike, yeah. uh, uh, not necessarily him, but his fucking family. Uh, but also, in Kansas City, uh, they don't really know who their number one wide receiver is for him to throw to. Now, granted, it's Patrick Mahomes, so he's going to load up whoever the fuck he wants. Right. Uh, Travis Kelsey is obviously his number one target, but that's really the only thing that's set in stone. It's really... Uh, Patrick Mahomes and, and Pacheco, but he's but everybody, split time. all the defense guys being like fucking block or get on guard Kelsey. Yeah. That frees up another guy who it, it could be Kadarius Tony who could doesn't be your, need to even yeah. worry about running away from another guy because there ain't no guy near him. So. And that's definitely possible. But I just have this really weird feeling if Kelsey for any reason, God forbid, uh, goes down then uh, the Chiefs will have a, a rougher year than what they're expecting, especially coming off for a Super Bowl win. However, the, the Philadelphia Eagles, in my opinion, out of the gate, 
preseason pick of the uh, whatever, I, I have them winning the Super Bowl. That's who I honestly think is going to win the whole fucking thing. But isn't that – you <clears> just <throat> gave a football example that's, like, true about any team or any sport, really. For what? You're like, yeah, they're looking good, but if one guy gets hurt, then chances that that could mess things up are good. Uh, well – And it's like, well, yeah, no shit. That's such a sports thing to say. No, not necessarily. You just don't have any other superstars surrounding Patrick Mahomes. I think Patrick you guys Mahomes. should go outside and fight. <laughs> uh, no. Uh, but no, I did. I really did. I did really, really well. I, I got the guys that I want. But yeah, as far as running backs go, I'm very young. I got Jameer Gibbs and... Uh, Jameer Kwai. No, Jameer Gibbs was my first pick. Oh. But I also got Bijan, Bijan Robinson, who's, uh, you know, he has his own mustard commercial ba now. Barry Gibbs? Uh, yes, exactly. Uh, but I thought it would actually be kind of fun. I may do a, a TikTok live later on this week. I know that there are a lot of people that listen to this show that do fantasy football and have a draft this weekend. <laughs> so, yeah, let us know. Uh, comment yeah, on the... Scotty uh, will help you have a fantastic draft. I will. I'll be in your... I got some good moves. That happens whenever you win the league three fucking years in a row. If you're you watching and you need it... the league three years in a row. If you're watching and you need a guy on your fantasy team and it doesn't Man. cost money... The belt's impressed. upstairs. I'll be on it. impressed. Yeah. So just hit That's me up awesome. if sure. you're listening to me instead of them talking. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Uh, but anyways, uh, so... <laughs> Take out your left <laughs> earphone. <laughs> just listen to me. Uh, but to continue on with the fantasy stuff, or the, not the fantasy stuff, the football stuff, uh, Sam Darnold was announced the 49ers second string quarterback. Uh, which means that Trey Lance getting drafted, uh, I think it was maybe third or fourth overall, third overall for the 49ers, which they traded up to get. Um, ended up being a big fucking bust, and Trey Lance then was put on the trading block and almost immediately taken by the Dallas Cowboys, which pretty much guarantees that uh, I think they're going to eventually fade out of Dak, but with Trey Lance, it doesn't fucking matter because that's a dead end all in itself. So the Cowboys, after this year, may not be very good for a while. Well, you know, they're not very good now. Shh. Don't tell anybody that. Oh, sorry. You'll hurt so Trey feelings. Lance, I'm gonna for non football people, I'm gonna see if we got this figured out. Yeah. Trey Lance was a guy, he probably just finished college yep. and was badass and got drafted pretty high when they did the draft. The, even the badass part of that statement was very questionable. Oh, okay. So yeah. he was decent enough and, and oh, and then he got drafted and everybody was like, What? Yeah, everybody was kind of going like, Holy shit, you traded up for that and, guy? And they um, were like, We see something in him. Exactly. And then they they went through the preseason and they were like, all right, we don't see that no uh, more. He's actually been a 49er. This will be, I believe, his third year being a 49er. Oh. And uh, I thought this was all in this year. Oh, no, no. This has been three years that they have put into this kid. So was he ever good? Did he ever start? And did he, did, he, he did start. Did they win? Uh, that it may have won. I don't even know what his record was, but I can tell you it wasn't like he was a, a superstar by any particular. Uh, stretch of the imagination uh he got hurt which then made them put in their third string quarterback who they drafted at the end of that exact same draft and who is called mr irrelevant it's the last pick mm -hmm. uh and that is brock big cock purdy oh yep does he you really have a had, big cock or is that just a fun nickname i think it's a fun nickname it may be valid but that dude i'll let you know ha yeah jp Please. is hanging out with him next weekend yep. i'm sure he'll We're ask go hang out but Mr. Irrelevant has become their starting quarterback, and uh, I'm kind of rooting for that kid. So, well, me too it, now. It's, it's, yeah, <laughs> it's going to be pretty awesome. So, All right. Uh, but good luck to them. See that? I can talk about sports. You sure can. I'm actually really impressed. And that's, uh, that's all the football that I have, so that way we can kind of move on to the fun stuff. Yeah, uh, like sprinters. Well, here's the thing. There was a United States uh, sprinter who won the gold medal in both the 100 and 200 meter at the World Championships, which that means you're going up against other countries. Yeah. And he had uh, he made the statement that he doesn't like it because he has to watch the NBA Finals and they have world champions all over the place whenever they win. Oh, uh, yeah. I saw that. Yeah. And uh, world champ, he said, world champion of what? The United States? Uh, don't get me wrong. I love the U.S. at times, but that ain't the world. And you had a whole bunch of NBA players, like, rolling their eyes at him and saying, like, oh, my God, this guy doesn't really realize that there's a whole bunch of, you know, international players. And I think that's correct. They do. It's very – there's a lot of, you know, international players in the NBA. Are they non-American? Yeah. 
Like, do oh, they, yeah. they, oh, yeah. they don't, they're not like citizens. Yeah. The last three MVPs are not even citizens. They're from other countries. All right. Well yeah. then that's say, I would say that the NBA is the world champion of I'd, basketball. I, I think right? that's where the best players all over the world go. That's what I'm saying. But what's the second best ice cubes thing? Three huh? on three. The G League. You know, I don't even know. I think uh, I think some guys would probably have a little bit of trouble. We still can't send over a United States team that um, can win in the Olympics right now. Uh, I think it was even the year that LeBron got embarrassed in the in the Olympics, but I can't remember exactly who beats us in the Olympics in basketball. Uh, the, a lot of teams are becoming a lot better. You got uh, Italy, France, Germany. Uh, I mean, basketball has kind of taken off into other countries, and that's where you're going to get teams. Uruguay. I noticed she didn't say any Asian countries. Uh, <laughs> they're all very small, <laughs> they're except guard. for Yao Ming. They play with five guards over there. I in, would uh, l- actually like to see a really talented, like, five-foot-five team. Absolutely. I think it would be kind of funny. Just fucking dominate. <laughs> Wouldn't that be Just great? Just come out like the Globetrotters. <laughs> jumping, <laughs> jumping, jumping off each other's shoulders and, and shit. Yeah, Somebody dude. sliding out trampolines so they can yeah, dunk. Yeah. Fuck no, yeah. No trampolines. Bullshit. I'm calling it right now. Nah, slam ball, man. They're great at that game. Uh, but yeah, I, I think I think there is some truth to what he has to say. I also understand how, why the NBA kind of like the players are like, get the fuck over it, man. But no, if if you want to build a team of just United States players and play other countries with their players in the NBA, then okay, I get what you're saying as far as the world championship because it's a you know deal. But as far as a sprinter, it's ridiculous how perfect you have to be in order to win those events you should just shut the fuck up and run i mean he does okay he really did he i don't need to hear after about he's yeah. done running yeah this well, is after he ran oh well and we're like yeah. go run and he's like i just got done well we <laughs> don't like, pay you to right. fucking have an opinion you son. can talk for and a he minute won gold both times but no yeah. I, th- I think he has a legitimate point and and uh and also i also see the player's point but i think that if you really want to say that the NBA is the world, then I think you need to start dividing up at the end of the, they need to have the world baseball classic kind of thing with the NBA. If you want to go down that road, but beside the point, I just thought it was interesting to see what you guys thought. Yeah, that was great. Thanks for bringing that up. You're welcome. This one's even more fun. Actually, wow. this actually is pretty funny. Uh, in the world of baseball, this is a minor league uh, situation that happened in a frontier league game between the tri city Valley cats and the New York boulders. A first base umpire appeared to strike a player in the midsection and was subsequently asked to leave by the chief chief umpire. There was an umpire who got ejected by another umpire from a baseball game because he hit a dude. I saw the video of what, I mean, he was losing his shit, but he kind of did like, like kind of jab him in the sternum a little bit. Shut the fuck up. Kind of, sort of, yeah, but it was over bullshit. It was over like a the, the guys had like a tablet, which you're allowed to have in the dugout, and the other team accused them of stealing signs. So the umpire went over there and told them to give up the laptop or the uh, tablet, and they were like, no. no. And, and it was a big, huge ordeal, and that's where it all started and then just went to hell really quickly. And because that umpire lost his shit and died, kind of jabbed at a guy's stomach, he was then asked to leave. First time I've ever seen an umpire get ejected from a game. Yeah, they were cool. umping. That's what if awesome. what if it was the chief umpire that fucking punched a guy? Yeah, like he, then who's what gonna, would happen? Who's gonna override the commissioner, him? The, the commissioner <laughs> Gordon has to come then. No, yeah. I like commissioner umpire that yeah. comes out like he's yeah. not even involved in the game, but he still has <laughs> his umpire outfit. And, on. But he's wearing like one of those powdered wigs from uh-huh. back in the day. He has yeah. like a like gold a George Washington umpire wig. mask. Yeah, I yeah. like to think there's like a stand-in umpire. Ooh. Or what's a, is it a reserve? Who's the people on not on the jury, but the 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 people that are there but don't get to do anything? Alternate He's umpires. An alternate. Yeah, there's an alternate umpire in the back in the locker room watching the game, just really excited to get in. If he's this like, kind of come shit. on, come somebody on. fucking punch a throw guy! Him throw him out! Throw him out! Yes! Finally, he just goes out there. I've been I, this, the dude has been waiting for like thirty years. <laughs> He's blind in one eye. Yeah, it's his never, last ditch effort. Never got the opportunity, but now it's all good. 
That reminds me of the hunchback guy in the of movie Notre 300. Dame? Oh. Where he's like, can I fight in your army? And Ifeltis. he's like, hold up your shield. And he's like, I can't because my arm. Ifeltis. He doesn't say it like His that. His name is Ephialtes. I don't care. It's, I know that. I is that true? That. Yeah. I mean, is the story of him true? Oh, um, I don't know if the story of that is true, but the whole battle of Thermo- Thermopylae is actually pretty exaggerated. What did Dude, you call I, me? I fucking... Whenever we played Thermopylae as kids, man, I'd get so mad when I didn't get boardwalk. <laughs> yeah. And I would just flip over the whole table. Yeah. Yeah. You guys want to play Thermopylae? <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah. That's funny. Anyways, uh, so there's that. And then, obviously, I got to give a shout out. I know that this is, uh, is a sports show, and we do have a lot of fans that like wrestling. A very sad, tragic passing of The Fiend Bray Wyatt. Um, and I know that's not his real name. That's what he was known as. Uh, it was really sad. It came out today. I saw that it was actually of a heart attack, mm. which is really, really sad. He was only 36 years old and um, really I bet, fucking sad. I bet he sad. got the jab. I didn't say that. Um, so that was extremely sad. I uh, agree So with both of you. <laughs> okay. Uh, but last but certainly not least, Bob Barker passes away. Yeah, man. Well. Son of a bitch. I know. First Betty White, now Bob Barker. And, Who and, do we have left? And both of them spun and didn't quite hit a dollar. They nope. just got that 99 cents, yeah. and man, that was it. I saw that tweet so many times. Yeah, I know. The, day. the first time I saw it, though, I genuinely chuckled. And I, I was did. Like, nice. But then yeah. I saw another one, and I was like, oh, this one was before the one that I liked. Yeah. So I went back and unliked the, yeah. the first one. You're a fraud. Uh, yeah. I, like. <laughs> I was. I don't like when... Paul Walker still has both of them beat. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he hit 100 yeah, he before hit 100, he died. Man. That's my favorite. I love that shit. I say that about, uh, what's his name, Ryan Dunn. Oh, fuck. And see, that one hurts me a little bit because I love Ryan. Yeah, Tung. dude, of course. He's a stud. But see, that's Is the stuff. Is he the guy who beat the shit out of his dad? Uh, no, that, no, no, no. Ryan Dunn's that? from Jackass. Well, yeah, yeah but he's no. talking about it. He's, he's talking about he Bam. He, uh, Bam, oh, so you're Bam. talking about Bam. Yeah, Bam Margera Bam beat the shit out of his dad, uh, but Ryan was normally involved, but not the beater upper. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, rest in peace to both those guys. Sad week, uh, but... Uh, God damn it. Did I mention my aunt passed away? Yeah, you kind of did. Oh, you said, oh yeah. yeah. Sorry about Nobody that. said anything, but now Bob Barker fucking died. It's a big fucking national Well, tragedy. I don't. I didn't my grow aunt, up watching hey, your aunt hey, on television. My aunt also thinks you should spay and neuter your pets. <laughs> so, Not anymore, she doesn't. No. Did right. your aunt stay up with me when I was faking like I was sick, eating chicken noodle soup at if 9 o'clock in the morning? If you would have fucking called her, she would have. I'm sure she would have. Yeah, she was man. a sweet lady. She was. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyways, that is this week's current events. Uh, now we get to have a little bit of fun. Oh, thank God. I was I waiting know. for the fun. Sorry about your aunt, buddy. Yeah. Hey, thanks, man. I appreciate that. I just wanted to step on Scotty's fun. <laughs> yeah. Now we're going to have some fun. So did you? were you close? To, uh, yeah. Did yeah. you cry at the funeral? I. So, I mean, no, I didn't. But that doesn't mean I didn't. Did you like, want of course. to? I wanted to, but I was like, no, they already think you're gay enough. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> uh-huh. Do you cry gay? Yeah. Do you like, really? Yeah, I cry real gay. Like when you have yeah. an, a, like an emotional a, breakdown. Yeah. Usually do when you do I this? cry, I usually have <laughs> more than one dick in my ass. <laughs> it's very gay. That's different. <laughs> that's that's screaming in pain. I mean, like oh. when your feelings are hurt oh. and you cry. Like oh. Oh, oh, I don't have feelings anymore, Mike. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> that's good to hear. I've known JP for several years now, and I know he's like the least flamboyant gay guy I ever met. But when Mike is asking you, Mike said, do you cry like yeah. this i couldn't imagine it ever i do do you really no i didn't think so. i feel like it's in there somewhere though <laughs> it's know. just it's just waiting to come out oh, but and what still, was your aunt's name shirley aunt shirley's funeral is no place for that no. Sur- shirley sorry again i'm sure she was awesome yeah she was awesome okay surely and that's and that's how you know if it, it's it's always a good time to make jokes right after somebody passes away if i die anytime in the future and you guys don't make fun of me in some particular way i pity you all right but yes now we get to move on to the fun parts uh of the show these are our segments that you guys could actually send in suggestions to us which is at uh, x or twitter however you want to say it uh we are at lot sidelines uh or at our instagram which is at laughing on the sidelines and i checked shit out of them this week boys we got actually some suggestions from uh, some people i yeah. think 
Awesome. Uh, but uh, we're going to start off the show with overrated or underrated. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. If you can't figure it out, JP will come around and bang you on the face, or bang you in the face with a fucking tack hammer or something, and you'll uh, you'll just what is a right tack up. hammer? Tack hammer is a really small hammer that it doesn't really do a goddamn thing other than hammer and tacks to not damage your wall. Okay. Okay. Yep. All right. Uh, so, anyways, first one, we're going to go. That was a very aggressive answer. <laughs> he knows. Okay. I do know. He's okay. been asked before. I have. So It's my favorite uh, weapon of choice. Uh, anyways, first one, overrated or underrated, tiny nipples. Overrated. What? Why, like what? Right. That's my, what I'm thinking. Like, Hold on. I don't mind a tiny nipple, but I don't seek it out. Really? Yeah, I don't care. Okay. I like a big, like, a pencil eraser <laughs> nipple. Well, okay, that's okay. I see what you're saying now. On a girl, I mean. I'm talking about the areola. And oh, it's, the areola? Yeah, the areola. So, like, one of them big pancake nipples. <laughs> yeah. No, thank you. <laughs> Hard pass. Even on because, dudes. <laughs> because on dudes, that means they're probably 350 pounds. <laughs> yeah. No dude has huge areolas unless they also have huge titties. <laughs> and if I wanted huge titties, I'd fuck a chick. <laughs> no, there's definitely dudes... There is an example of anything you can think of um, somewhere in nature. So there's a guy that's in super good shape who doesn't have huge tits. And his, giant, yeah, like his areolas are just... dollar fucking... He never <laughs> takes his shirt off. He probably yeah. got some tattoos to cover I'll it up. You, I'll tell right. you who it is. Uh, everybody except for uh, Mike has seen the show. But in Ted Lasso, Jamie has kind of big variola nipples. Oh, I would just do things to him. <laughs> oh, no! I, oh, my goodness. No! He's so beautiful. That's disgusting. Oh. Yep. Uh, I don't even know what you're talking about. Jamie, and his last name's gross. Tart, so, I mean, <laughs> I think t- I might have a chance. Yeah. Poop. I've been called a tart before. I'm sure you have. Have you? Yep. Did the, Poopy. Did Poopy. the guy think he was witty? <laughs> it was my aunt, it? Shirley. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make jokes about her. <laughs> I know. It's awful. Uh, but no, I'm going to say tiny nipples are underrated. I, I mean, those yeah, are my I'm going to go with underrated, too. Those are my favorite. Okay. I, I don't like big ones. You can hardly even see my left one. Because well, yeah, it's yeah. so tiny. Because it's so tiny. Yeah, it's like Thumbelina. That's strange. Yeah. That's absolutely strange. I feel like I have completely normal nipple size. Well, of course Dude, that's cool, bragger. Yeah, and so will the woman that I marry. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of like a, a. I'll tell you what I've been doing on dating apps lately. My profile says <laughs> tiny nipples. No, my <laughs> my profile says tell me five things that you don't like about me already, just from my profile, and I'll do the same back to you. <laughs> and I've gotten a lot of people that are just like you're bald, you're fat, and this kind of stuff. But I feel like that leads to better relationships where okay. it's just like, look, I you look old. So if you could be less bald and less fat, you'd probably get a lot of fucking puss you this is true would, yeah. yeah but so I'm, it's good to know when i'm bald like this on purpose where it's all evenly bald then, you're good. then that's good that's okay but it's if i let it go more than a day like, anyway yeah. tiny yeah. nipples yeah are awesome yeah. Okay. okay or they suck whatever okay doesn't matter right uh listen They're harder to suck because <laughs> you gotta <laughs> no you, you have just to do. really get in there no you just i have <laughs> this gap in my front teeth <laughs> that's perfect for that's a nipple for a tiny nipple oh that's fucking gross uh, all right, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Uh, next one, overrated or underrated, indestructible dog toys. There's no, you can't say overrated or underrated on something that doesn't, doesn't exist. exist. <laughs> yeah, there is no such thing. That's true. Oh, I see these advertisements, and I every yeah. single time I see it, I just immediately scream, bullshit. Yep. Uh, and I think it's kind of cool. Because everybody who has one of those dogs, and I know several people that are going <laughs> the same thing that we're all saying, and that is, oh, you think that Troy's indestructible? Give it to my dog. Give yeah. him 15 minutes. That it thing will be yeah. destroyed. Dude, and it's true. I've seen her eat a tree. <laughs> and that's not even an exaggeration, bro. Like, my dog, I have literally seen her eat a fucking tree. So, I mean. Yeah, yeah I've seen it, dogs eat, like, antlers and stuff. Yeah, dude, she, yeah. And I like. I couldn't even, it would take me a, if they locked me in a room and they were like, you got to eat this, we'll let you out as soon as this antler's gone. Like I would, I don't know what I would do. Yeah. Cry a lot. Yeah. So overrated for all three of us. I think that one's pretty fucking obvious. That seems like kind of a smart selling point though. Yeah. Cause like, I feel like there's some sort of challenge. 
Yeah, but yeah. also like there, it seems like a legal loophole of some kind because it's like you told me it was indestructible. It's not indestructible, yeah, right. but they say on the commercial like a lot of companies most, work like this. Most dogs, no, it's say. it's about the return policy. But they know that people are lazy pieces of shit, and they're like, dude, I spent twenty five bucks on a dog toy. I don't feel like going to the post office or doing whatever. Yep. It's the same with like Pelotons yep. and stuff. Like, dude, the, the same person who's too yes. lazy to exercise yeah, with their three thousand dollar exercise machine. It. Yeah. Thanks, JP, for finishing That's my great, joke dude. in the middle of it. <laughs> You're welcome, man. <laughs> All right, next thing. Next thing. All right, fine. Son of a bitch. Both <laughs> it wasn't so fucking predictable. <laughs> it's my life. That's, That's true. my sex life. Uh huh. Not not Very having predictable. It. Yeah, not but having mine it. too. <laughs> I predict I'm not going to have sex again for at least a couple more years. I predict that I will very soon. <laughs> okay, hit me up, ladies. <laughs> or here we go. Yeah. Here we go. Dude, Money, that was organic. Money or puss, one or the other. Either one. That's can you send for. puss through the internet now? I'm pretty sure you can. I mean, they got 3D printers all over the yeah. place at this point, so okay. it could happen. Uh, next one: overrated or underrated? 72 virgins as a reward. Oh, I mean, how could that be overrated? Yeah. I think it's got to be underrated. Are you fucking serious right now? Yeah. Yeah, they're heaven virgins, dude. It's yeah, not like dude. people try to make jokes about like it's, oh, it's 72 fucking 13-year-old yeah. nerd boys or something. No, and they're, they're like, over no, 18. No, it's like they're hot. They're over 18. And they're virgins. And they love you because you're in heaven. And they're yeah. like, hey, this is what we're Have you ever for. had 72, 72 people suck your dick at the same time? <laughs> <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I it's would just like awesome. to. I would like to just have seventy-two naked girls around me. Just it, all, each of them touching any part of my body with any part of theirs. Imagine how difficult that would be just by itself hmm. to even have the room right. to get them all around you. It'd be you like know? one of those things where if you're the last one with a finger on Mike, you win a car. Uh-huh. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. All right. No, it's over fucking rated, you crazy <laughs> assholes. I, well, tell us why. Yeah, why? I can tell out of everybody on this show today, I am the only one who is married. Yes. I don't want to have to go through that shit ever again. You won't, dude. It's I'm oh, they're virgins. It's they're not going to be a virgin. lot of blood. Why they're not going to be like, ow, it hurts. Why what are do, you doing? Why do you automatically assume that you die to get this reward? I had that reward in Oklahoma City one time. See? I mean, I they said they were I'm, virgins. I don't believe it. I'm looking at this as <laughs> that one guy an had a really thing. big thing. No, I'm looking at it as I commit a terrorist attack, <laughs> and then as my reward, I go to <laughs> terrorist heaven, and I get 72 virgins. I don't see what's confusing about this. They're not going <laughs> to... If if all of that's true up to that point, there's not going to be some dickhead loophole where it's like, oh, but they're not cool virgins. <laughs> it's like, no, they're the coolest fucking thing that you can imagine, dude. That's what terrorist heaven is all about. <laughs> I disagree. I've had one before, and it was the biggest mistake I've ever made in my entire life. Yeah. I mean, I've, so, I've been there. Imagine making that same decision fucking 72 goddamn times i've been that guy once yeah after that i wasn't that <laughs> guy, that anymore, guy but, but i was definitely that guy uh, where i was like all right yeah let's have some oh god i came i'm sorry <laughs> i'm so sorry i'm so sorry all apologies i didn't even touch it you didn't have to <laughs> no you didn't have to just my brain knowing that it was within an inch of you was yeah. enough to make me be like oh my god it's happening Oh, Jesus Christ, my my fucking chest hurts. Okay, uh, next one. Overrated or underrated? Kinky sex instructional videos starring a 70-year-old woman. Man, you had me there until the end. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually what my Aunt Shirley did for a living. <laughs> I was getting ready to say. I was making the joke, but I was like, aww. Um uh. She is. So that was her. No, I don't want any Shirley. instructions. <laughs> Shirley sexual instructions. <laughs> it's called. It was a very tongue twistery. Yeah. yeah. If you said it three times fast, you got fifteen percent off the video. <laughs> so it was four bucks. Mm -hmm. No, I don't like instructional porn. I assume that's what it would have to be. So I, I saw this, and I'm, I'm. <laughs> All porn is instructional if you're daring enough. Yeah. Eh. 
So, so I saw this question, and the first thing came to mind was like, this is a seventy year old lady with like a seventy year old man, like directing. <laughs> <laughs> but I what you should do in this particular situation and it, it involves a is this a, a real sw- thing or is this just a hypothetical no this is totally just a hypothetical so I saw the question it was just like ooh that's great um, but I, I like I just am imagining a 70 year old woman with like a sex swing and like a guy who's also 70 and the guys in the sex swing <laughs> I need to know. Just rocking yeah, back and man. forth while she's talking yeah. welcome everybody thanks for tuning in as you don't forget see, to say hi to Cletus. Larry's behind me. All right, Cletus, it's, whatever. It's like the reading rainbow for sexual adventures is yeah, what man. was in my But that's my like, like Dr. Ruth or something, you know? Like she didn't, she wasn't like finger banging herself. <laughs> no. She was just the, like talking about it and using, like she would use bananas Props, and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah. I, I would watch a 70 year old lady give oh, actual instructions shit. if me and my girlfriend who we loved each other equally were like, yeah, babe, let's mess it up a little in there you know <laughs> i'd be like all right i've got this lady named shirley i'm gonna fucking does she sh- i need to know if she shaves her bush <laughs> no uh, does she at least diet <laughs> i mean she's in good put, shape if that's some, what you're oh she put some just for men in there so that it's not all gray <laughs> nobody wants to see it a gray bush oh, yeah. all i can think is shirley shaves and i want to do more <laughs> seashell shit but i can't yeah. think of anything shirley sa- shaves her vagina down by the seashore <laughs> okay uh but and then no. she puts out an instructional video yeah. <laughs> so i'm gonna say oh, underrated oh I go my, underrated too oh, we need Christ. more I kinky need sex more instructional videos starring 70 year old women no yep. this is overrated absolutely overrated please don't ever 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 bring this up again okay okay <sighs> all right i'm and excited for this one <laughs> I, I think you probably these. do. I do too. <laughs> I think if there's anybody, hang on, yeah, hang on, real quick, because I really like this one. Overrated or underrated? Having medieval weapons for home defense. Underrated. Way underrated. <laughs> I mean, obviously, I would like a a, a big spiky ball <laughs> yeah. on the end of a chain. Amaze. Just imagine you're like sneaking into somebody's house and you just see that. I want a light on the end of it too, so uh, they can see it in the dark. Yeah, no. I have a dragon. You have a dragon? Yeah, that's not a weapon. Kind of not it a, is weapon. a weapon. I mean, I mean it, it depends. Be. Yeah, it is. In but Shrek, no, it was a partner. So yeah. you know, I mean, yeah. it, it kind of comes with the territory. In Pete's dragon, it was. It could have been sort of a weapon. I would like to break into somebody's house and all they had for defense was like. A giant broadsword. Yes, because that's what I'm talking about. I would just fucking shoot him in the head and take all their stuff. Well, that's kind well, of. Well, if you have a gun, that's different. Well, yeah, of course I have a gun. Oh, no, this is in you're every a, situation. You're a stupid intruder. I, I think this would be so much fun if I was prepared and, and like knew that it was getting ready to happen. So I was able to dress up as a knight from the medieval ages. Yeah. And with a sword, a broadsword, and a shield. Fuck yeah. Shoot at me all you want. I think it'll probably get me. But at the same time, at least I went out swinging, literally. So yeah, it would almost be worse to like get shot a bunch with your armor on than it would so be to just get shot because you'd probably still kill you eventually. And it bounces yeah. around. It would just hurt a lot <laughs> more. Yeah, it just bing, 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 bing. <laughs> <laughs> One bullet yeah. hits you eighty six <laughs> times. Yeah, right. That's exactly what would happen. Uh, oh shit. Anyways, that is overrated or underrated. God damn, we barely got through that one. Uh, but now we get to move on to uh, JP's favorite. Yeah, man. Uh, JP I dig it. loves this segment. This is That's Where I Draw the Line. We get to have uh, certain scenarios, and we get to decide where that's way too much, way too old, all of that shit. Again, if you can't figure it out, tack hammer time. All right. Uh, first one. Uh, what is the maximum amount of time do you think it is acceptable to have to wait in a drive through for fast food? Um, it depends on the restaurant. And it depends how high I currently am. <laughs> oh, is that True. the case? I've sat for a really long time. What's, a, what's a really long time? I probably sat there for 30 minutes. Okay. It yeah. was one of those go park over there and we'll bring it to you in a minute. And I was just high and I was watching something on my that. phone. So okay. I was like, yeah, whatever. And then it w- when they finally brought it to me, it was like, oh, yeah, food. <laughs> I forgot. I almost just forgot why just I was even off. here. Yeah. Okay. I was in the Taco Bell drive-thru. My mom's birthday was the 23rd. And 
all she I said, hey, I'm going to bring you dinner. Mm-hmm. Whatever you want, you let me know. She goes, I know this sounds stupid, but I really want some Taco Bell. Fine. Cool. 45 fucking minutes later. Wow. Yeah. At Taco Bell. Wow. At what percent correct was the order? A hundred. Oh, oh, nice. Fucking Good better me. I mean. Dude, mine never is. Wow. Dude, it was so bad. Well, that's the great thing about Taco Bell. It's all the same thing. They just call it different shit. So even if they fuck up your order, as long as you ordered four things and you get four things. You're good. I think it was, uh, oh, shit, who was it? It's a girl comedian. Uh, she's been on the show before. Megan Welsh. Yeah, um, funny. Megan Welsh uh, actually said, uh, how can you not love Taco Bell? If if they get you the wrong thing, it's just your, It's the exact same order you got. It's just folded differently. Yeah, right. So, yeah, that's awesome. And I think <laughs> that's, that's, awesome. that's totally yeah. correct. Um, I, the longest I have ever sat in a drive through was about 35 minutes. It's crazy. But the thing is, is it was also in a Taco Bell. But the only reason why I did, because if it was just, I oh, want to talk about mine. Oh, yeah. I'd have fucking left. I would have never got in line. So here's the thing. It's because I wanted something very, very specific. And I didn't want, you can't go to all other places in order to get it. And that is. Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Yeah. I mm. wanted that shit so bad that I sat in there and I didn't complain and was very nice and polite. But why did that take so long? Yeah. It wasn't that. I, it was other food that came with it, but it was also douchebags in front of me that it, were in a van that had to have had at least 15 people and they oh, all ordered separate there was fucking a van. orders. There was a van. Like, don't, I mean, c- please don't do that. There was 15 people in this goddamn thing and each one of them were passing their credit cards through the fucking driver's window. Uh, so it wasn't your doing. It's not my doing. It was, it was just a fluke. Fuck you people. So where do we draw the line? I say 35 minutes because oh, I've God. done it. I've done it before. I think that's way too long. I understand. I draw the line at 10. How high? If you're super high, how 10, long? 10 to 15 minutes. Okay. But sometimes you're locked in. Sometimes there's cars in front of no you and behind go. you, yeah. and there's a it's curb true. on both sides, so you can't just what I hate sneak is, out. Is, if you have a truck, you can. Also, at McDonald's, Man. I get you get locked in because I order ahead on the app. Yeah. And then I pay for it. And then once I get there, it doesn't matter how many fucking people are in front of me. I've already paid for this shit. I'm waiting for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Absolutely. It's true. All right. Next one. Where do you draw the line? What is the maximum age a child should be allowed to breastfeed in public? I don't. Uh, 35. I don't know enough about. <laughs> mommy. I don't know enough about kids to know. I just know it's like uh, whatever the Supreme Court guy said about porn. <laughs> like, I'll know when I see it. If they can tie their own shoes, they <laughs> should not be breastfeeding. No, if, if a kid can be like, Mom, I want some milk, then you're too old to put your mom's tits in your mouth. Mm-hmm. I, I shit you not. I saw a kid. He was probably maybe. I think he was maybe like eight or nine years old <laughs> at a public restaurant. It was a I said public restaurant. It was Chili's. It was at a Chili's, <clears throat> and he was eight or nine years old, and he was able to not. I mean, he's fully capable of eating regular food, and we are at a place where there is supposed to be food coming out for you to eat. And he, no bullshit, put his head underneath his mom's shirt and started breastfeeding at the table. Did he right put his hand on it? I don't know. I wasn't like looking under. I feel like that there. adds an extra yeah, level of inappropriateness. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> if he's like, like "Mom, come here," um, hey, what? Yeah, that's Be like, "Don't the... grab." Yeah, that's a little too old, I but, think. And it's like it, it, I don't necessarily want to beat the shit out of the kid as badly as I want to beat the shit out of the mom, but I can't because then that's you know salt. Right. So no, yeah, I can you, just bitch about it on a podcast that thousands of people dude, have listened that's to. Crazy. Yeah, if you know this kid, then uh, keep him safe and make fun of him with Forever. words only. Ever. Yep, exactly. Until he learns the shame that comes with it. Absolutely. And then uh, that'll teach him something. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Next one. Where do you draw the line? What is the maximum amount of firearms one person can own before you are uncomfortable around them? Oh, my God. There's no infinity. Amount. Yeah, infinity. And we all have the same answer. <laughs> yeah, I was like, if, I'm un- if I was uncomfortable around people with guns, I wouldn't have any friends. <laughs> like, yeah. My I, friends have a lot of guns. I, I just don't want, if it's pointed at me, I'm going to be like, dude, I, I would like to leave <laughs> no, immediately. And here's the other thing. This is the other thing about living in the Midwest, maybe, or whatever. I don't know what comes with it. It's really part of it. But the people that have one gun 
are actually more dangerous than the people oh, who yeah, have no 40 shit. guns. Yeah, that's the that's people true. who have 40 guns don't scare me. They don't scare me one bit. The fact, one with one. The one right. with one they is the guy me. that you're like, why do you only have one? But the guys with For emergencies. Four, yeah. Yeah. Um, but no, the guy that has 40 guns, first of all, they're and all a bunker and shit. Yeah. Those and guys, sword. <laughs> those guys <laughs> are the people you want to be best friends with because you are going to be needed. Mm. My when best friend has a lot of guns. That's that's so and it he's is. got a house that's in dug into a hill. Yeah. So they, we're in good shape. Those people have the idea of defense as the reason yep. why they have so many guns oh, and yeah. ammunition. The we're person with shape. one gun is the guy that's like, maybe he just he's wants the guy. Guy, the guy with one gun is the guy that kills four zombies and then gets eaten. Yeah. So. Yeah. And then you take his gun That's and right. add it to your repertoire. And, and you take the safety off because he hasn't figured yeah. it the fuck out yet. Anyways, right. that's a good one. I like how we all agree on that one. Uh, next one. Shall not be infringed. <laughs> Fine. Whatever. Uh, next one. Where do you draw the line? If you are still a virgin at the age of blank, I am getting you a prostitute. No, no age. No age. Really. I ain't, if you're a virgin, that's your choice, and that's your life. I'm not going to force you to. Let's have play. S- let's play the game here. Let's play the game. Let's play the game as if they really want to, but they're they're uh, they're a not religious. Stupid loser. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so so they are not religious. Religion is not the main reason why they're not trying to save themselves for marriage. They just keep fucking striking out. <laughs> they are forty year old virgin oh, yeah. on that's in a nutshell. Old. Like that is the situation we're talking. I think nineteen. Oh fuck, that's a little too early. No, nope. yeah, no. But if you're forty and a virgin, then yeah. I would like to. F- I, I want to hook you up with of of an also virgin. Yes, an also thirty year. And then you guys virgin. can get married and only have sex with each other and treat each other nice for the rest of your life. And people are always going to be like, "But why a prostitute?" It's because they will show you a lot of shit in a very reasonably short amount of time. I don't. I've never found prostitutes to be <clears throat> educational. I didn't. Are oh, you admitting? You're not. To, you're not, you're you, not using the right prostitute. I've son. never had one that was you like. You should have tried my aunt Shirley. I don't want to. <laughs> I thought she just sold videos. Now she's well, a whore too. I mean, <laughs> I'll be darned. She a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Okay, hey, she know. dibbles. She dabbles. She dibbles. She dabbles. <laughs> a, a gal's got to like, make a living. I'd like a dabbling, please. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> Oh my God! Uh, her YouTube video is is up and going right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna say like I'm gonna say thirty. Forty's way too old. Thirty, if you're there, thirty's good. I 30, like thirty. I think thirty because you are technically still like at the you're falling off of your prime at thirty. Like that's you're supposed to be fucking everything that moves from like twenty one to twenty five, and once you hit your thirties, you you're kind of you need to start settling down, so you need to, you know, get some practice in before you do that. So I was, I'll say thirty. I was delayed in my development. Did you? I mean, kind of. I kind of like I had a long term girlfriend for a lot of my twenties. Yeah. And then when I hit late twenties, then I was like, all right, let's uh, quit being a fat piece of shit. Okay. And I did that for a year or two, and then I was like, all right, let's see what these dating apps are all about. <laughs> and then I had like the most sex that I've had in my life in like a nice. two or three year period. So can I ask a personal question to both of you? Yeah. When did you lose you your virginity? How it. old were you when you lost your virginity? I and was, don't tell me your uncle bullshit story. I was <laughs> sixteen, dude. Sixteen? Yeah. All right. And it wasn't my. I was fourteen. Okay. All right. It wasn't my. I don't want to say it wasn't my choice, but it wasn't. <laughs> it wasn't my. You didn't stop it. The situation was not my. He was doing. like, I guess if you want to put my dick in your mouth, I you mean, can. sure. Yeah. yeah, it was basically a girl that was like, "We're gonna have sex," and I was like, like okay. "Okay, okay." I was like, "Hell yeah!" Cool. I didn't see that coming. Yeah, uh, <laughs> which is why I don't like planned sex. This is, <laughs> we've talked about this we before. Have, we have talked when about I this. When I lost my virginity, I was just hanging out with my friends, and a girl came over and like grabbed my arm and was like. We're we're going to go have sex. And, and I was like, okay, sure. Yep. Uh, so a question for you guys. How old do you think I was? How old are you now? I'm 35, 34, 32. <laughs> <laughs> now you were probably uh, 17, 15. 18. Okay. You, yeah. I was 18. There 18. we go. <coughs> 18. <laughs> See, I know Se- you dude. Senior graduation day. I missed my graduation party for a lot of fucking. Oh, wow. All right. Congratulations, man. Anyways. That's awesome. <laughs> all right. And now you're married to that girl. No. 
Oh. Next question. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Uh, anyways, uh, that's where I draw the line. Uh, or sorry, where do you draw the <laughs> that's line? You that's you saying that's where I draw the line. That's where I draw the line. We gotta move Shut on. The fuck up. Moving on. Power to the next question. <laughs> uh, what is the minimum age a child can be before a parent should be allowed to beat them? Four. Oh, I would say way younger. Minimum. I mean, I yeah, I guess a little younger, but you don't want to get them used to it. You want it to sure. be like a thing that never happens, you know? So I'm just saying it should be legal. Like, I think like, when they know. come out, they should just, you should just smack the fuck out of me. Like I'm no, your I daddy. I don't think that you should uh, <laughs> try to abort them after they're born. It's like, uh, it's <laughs> then like you end up, <laughs> Shit. <laughs> You end up like Mike. You could be the governor of Virginia. <laughs> oh, God. Right? There not, we go. Not, political. Not a political show. All right. Um, no, I, I I feel like uh, the butt is the only part of a child you should be able to quote unquote okay. beat. Okay. And I definitely got, we never called it beating when I was a kid. We just called it whooping. Whooping. And yep. I definitely got my ass whooped most, multiple times. And then also my dad, I think I've told this story before, but whenever we were walking around a grocery store, or Walmart or whatever, my dad would just walk like this with his Just hand, waiting. Just placed gently on the back of my just neck. Just so you know. Anytime you I reached for up. something or did anything, he'd he did, fucking yeah, squeeze. And I'd just be like, oh. Awesome. And he wouldn't do it enough to hurt me, but it was enough like he could control my yeah. entire body <laughs> with one hand. <laughs> So you I was were like, his puppet. Basically, yeah. yeah. But I mean, I learned, well, you know, awesome. like if dad said anything, it was like, all right, yeah. do it. Unless I, he's yeah. got a smile on his face. And then you can be like, wait, are you kidding? Yeah, <laughs> I turned I turned out. OK, my uh, my mother uh, and my well, I have, I have two moms. I, I, I tell the story very quickly. All right. Tell, I'm going to tell the story quickly. But I, I have two moms. I have a I have a white one and a black one. And um, I've seen that book. Yeah. Scotty has two moms. <laughs> yeah. uh, no, but uh, my best friend, my oldest friend, uh, just so happens to be a black guy. And I was over at his house uh, just as much as I was at my house. And both of our parents agreed that if we ever got out of line, uh, both had the authority to beat the shit out of us with uh, the belt. Okay. And black people love to beat other people's kids. Dude. <laughs> That's a fact. Especially if that one's dude, white. <laughs> that is a fucking fact, man. So did you get your All ass whooped? Oh yeah. no, but dude. but no bullshit. My my brother uh, uh, Michi and AJ, both of them. It scared the ever living shit out of me when I saw Mama Lori come into uh, his bedroom with the belt. They and, do, oh, no, man. Holy yeah. fuck. They, they're not like, I'm going to tell your father. They're like, fuck your father. Yeah, you're, about like, to, you're about to feel the full fucking force of your mama. Yeah, when I got a whooping from my mom with the yeah, belt, like, it's, it's like, oh, yeah, that sucked. But no, this was fucking terrifying. I'm uh, like, oh, <laughs> my mom is a little bitch to compare uh, to Mama Lori. Yeah. So did it make you, like, were you scared to go over there? Or oh, did shitless. It just, he Abs still doesn't I'm like black people to this day. <laughs> <laughs> no, I love them. No, but like, uh, were you, uh, did it make you be like, I don't ever want to go there again? Or did it make you be like, all right, I'm going to no. go there, but I have to behave no. because I know... No. What happens if I don't? I love going over there. I love. I I still am very close to that. So family. it taught you a lesson. Yeah, don't fuck up with Mama Lori or Papa Bo. Exactly. Absolutely not. That, and that's the lesson that only takes once that for me. Whooping your child. Oh yeah, dude. I rem my ass was literally black and blue for a, <laughs> for a day because yes. of a, a whooping that oh, I got. Yeah. When I stole, oh god damn! But yeah, I I say I say the answer to my to this question. Um, I, I have a, a friend who has two year olds and they are very well capable of knowing what right and wrong is at this particular point. Uh, so yeah, my happy area is two or three. You can start spanking them at that point. So, yeah. and that, and that is a good enough time to where I still like a good spanking. I'm sure you do, but that is when you're an adult and I'm hoping your parents don't still do that. Right? Well, no, my aunt Shirley. Oh, your aunt Shirley. No. I'm not buying any of this no. aunt Shirley shit anymore. I feel like you're just making stuff up now. Oh, uh, fuck. Uh, anyway, so that, that is my answer. And that is, that's where I All draw right. the line for this week. I like that one. Now we get to move on to questions and preguntas. Uh, we actually do have a couple of, uh, of, of listener questions, but, uh, the first question for this week is what did Adam think when he far, oh, I'm sorry. What did Adam think when he first saw Eve hubba hubba? Oh, really? Oh yeah. He wanted some of that. Uh huh. Oh yeah. I, I don't finally, know. he said, finally, 
Yeah, like that's in the Bible, I think. Yeah? yeah. Finally, some chicks. Basically, he basically he said, <laughs> "Finally, I've been waiting, and now I have my pussy." Uh, okay. All right. Basically, and Fair that's enough. that's in the Bible. That's in the Bible, people. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I think uh, I think when Adams first saw Eve, he was just like really quiet, just. There's some titties. But he doesn't know titties. what any of that stuff is. Do you think that no, he, he still doesn't. just instinctually was yes. like... Yes! Was like, hell yeah, yes. that, that chick's hot. Yes! And he was like... She, I'd eat her apple. <laughs> yeah. He was like, oh shit, she doesn't have a dick. This is on like Donkey Kong. Not 2023. This was back, you know, year yeah, zero. Right. Do uh-huh. you, do you want to hear what the real answer is? What is the real answer? Um, he said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. Why she are you going to sh- fucking kill it? She shall be called woman for she was taken out of man. Oh, that's according to Genesis. Okay. I yeah, just yeah. skipped the woman and went straight to the man. <laughs> <laughs> I went straight to the source. No, I think he, he thought like, I mean, it's gotta be a weird thing. You're like, Hey, I've never seen, I'm not even sure what I am. Cause there's no mirrors or anything. So I haven't really checked myself out a whole lot. Now there's this thing over here. Like, what are we doing here? I, I think that was the very first time a twitty a titty twister happened. He, he tw- titty twister. Yeah, titty twister just went up and went. Hmm. How old were they when they like? How was Adam <laughs> around for eighteen years? He had he had to be. God would never put him then, in that situation. And then he God have pubic took hair, so a he rib had to be. and yeah. was like, "Here's an eighteen uh, year old uh-huh. chick for you." Uh-huh. Because, like, if they grew up together... And God was like, 18-year-old chick, 72 virgins, ah, just give them one so that way it's easy. And it's not that bad of a deal. Yep. Anyways. That's why our God is smarter. An awesome God. No, I'm kidding. Uh, All right, next one. Uh, This is from Instagram. This is from a listener. This is from Stephen Moat. Appreciate the send-in. He wants to know... If you were the dictator of a country, what insane punishment would you inflict for a small infraction? If they they would have to do this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I love doing this eternally. Oh, no. Every day. I would definitely there'd be some shit getting cut off. <laughs> for if what? I, for all sorts of stuff. Like some of some of the uh Spill, like let's like say Middle East countries coffee. know that know what's up you know like if you steal you get your hand yeah, chopped yeah. off if you do something weird with your dick we're chopping it off okay uh, if you say bad Uh-oh. things about me no more tongue <laughs> okay oh yeah. oh now you're gonna write about it hands gone too okay that's you fair. learned to write with your feet fucking chop there's them be off a, there's gonna be a lot of torsos in your kingdom just a lot of stubs just a lot of stubs okay um i actually i actually have one i if you if you break into somebody's house and get caught doing it, I'm gonna have a medieval knight with a broadsword come and cut your dick <laughs> off. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> uh, so that's mine. Uh, next one. Which conspiracy theory does a person have to believe in before they are the crazy person category? God. Oh hey yo dog. I do. Of course you do. I'm not crazy. You might be. I mean, According to JP, you are, you're in the crazy person ca- category. Oh, I love you too, man, because Jesus Christ told me I should. <laughs> hey, you did, man. That's why yeah. I love you. No, uh, I don't know, man. You um, want to know what mine is? Okay, yeah. What is yours? Somebody who's convinced that the 2020 election happened oh, legitimately. Oh, can't you crazy it. ass. Uh-huh. It's obvious it was okay. stolen. Okay, whatever. Uh, oh, do you have one? I actually legitimately do. Have I don't one. really think. So I used to think. I used to think this flat one, earthers. That was it. Yeah, that's that's probably the only one I can really think of that I would be like, oh, man. you are that fucking stupid. Oh, birds are fake. No, birds aren't real. Birds aren't real. No, they used to be real. Yeah, there's still some real ones. They out there. used to be real, but not anymore. They've started killing them all off and replacing them with drones mm-hmm. that fucking record us. Yep, everybody knows it's that. True. I saw the dude, dude says so right on Ladies the side of that van. Ladies and gentlemen, this is JP's last episode he's dude, ever come on. It show. says so right on the side of that van I saw downtown. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it is. Yeah, that uh, is uh, that's one of those that y- y- prove to me that it's not. Go catch a bird. <laughs> okay, yeah. you're like I can't. No. Yeah, exactly. People that oh god, because it can see you coming. Uh huh. 
What the fuck did I get? When I was a kid, into? you used to be able to shoot birds with BB guns. Can't do Not that anymore. anymore. Why can't you now? Because they fucking sense that shit. And, and the BB just ninja. bounces off of they'll them. They'll <laughs> neo dodge out of the way, dude. Yeah. I, I know for a fact birds are definitely real. Definitely I'm, pheasant. Pheasant yeah. are definitely fucking real. There's some birds still. Okay, so what are you saying? You're saying pigeons, pigeons aren't fucking real? Pigeons aren't real. No, I'm saying like 50 50 of all birds. I tell you what. I will go to prison for however long it is, uh-huh. and let's go to New York. I will get a shotgun, and we'll walk out into the street of New York well, and yeah, shoot a fucking pigeon. But and they don't be- put the fake ones in New York. Oh. What, are they going to just let them walk around <laughs> so people can pick them up? The fake ones are all in shit? Milwaukee. No, the fake ones are all flying around and sitting yeah. in trees and shit. You ain't getting to them. Flat earthers and fake birds. Yeah, that's Those, a good... That's a good I but like that's flat, how you can tell that... I swear I thought this yeah. woman was gorgeous and then she was like uh oh, but yeah you know i believe in the flat earth and i'm oh like oh my god that ruins it i mean i can see Red where flag. she's coming from uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah me too i mean when you get uh, i don't think that 9 11 happened the way that they said it did i don't think a lot of things since 2015 have been the truth uh 2020 shit all of that i, I don't trust it how far back do we have to go the I, I will jfk tell you, so what it's the same group of people telling me like no we've been there trust me i will say this i will say this i encourage everybody to question everything i do I, I'm, I'm dead serious i i encourage to question everything but at the same time also use logic that's the other thing because there is not a single way that if you use logic to get to an answer that you're going to be wrong so uh, definitely question everything, but you fucking people that think the earth is flat and that birds are fake, fucking crazy. I don't think it's flat. I just think that it's a big okay dome. You fucking idiot. It's All like right. A uh, ne- <laughs> snow globe. Next one. Uh, next question. Uh, this is actually from another uh, listener. This is from Nathaniel Hicks. He has a question. He wants to know. What song would a school shooter definitely have on their music playlist? The school shooter song. All the other kids. That's what I was going to say, too. Pumped up kicks. That's what I was going to say. Wow. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies. I mean, that that one's obvious. We we don't need no water. Let Let the the motherfucker motherfucker burn. burn. Um, Let's see. I I know we've got a... We've got to have some really good ones in here. Yeah, there's probably like... uh, I mean, just anything nice would be very inappropriate, you know? Like, I'm a Barbie girl. And <laughs> that was walking be, yeah. around fucking uh, blasting. Uh, what's that? Is this that song by Got Ye? Or Got Ye? I don't know. Now you're just somebody Buddy that, that I, I used to know. Oh, fuck. Somebody. <laughs> yeah, that's, I, a, that's one. I fucking oh, dug wow. the shit out of that song when yeah. it first came oh, out. Yeah. Wow. Oh, man. Uh, the Barney song. Yeah, I love I you. Love you love love me. Me. Oh, that adds an it. extra level of creep to it. <laughs> yeah, it if really I'm, does. If I'm watching that, that in a movie. Uh huh. Sure does. No, but like Metallica or something would be the correct thing. Oh, absolutely. You know, uh, which one though? Which Metallica song? Or Green Day? Yeah, I could see that. Oh, I would have day? said Master of Puppets before Stranger Things went and made it cool. I don't you know? think that yeah. one. I don't think that one would be it though. It would be for whom the bell tolls. Yeah, it could be. That That's a be, good one. Yep, That's a good I think one. So. But your plan going in though is that you can get it to last more than one song. <laughs> so you, Master of Puppets would th- be the selection. That's what you want to do. I mean, you want to stay alive <laughs> yeah. as long as you can. Or one. One is long. No, yeah, that's a good yeah, one, one is long. Yeah, that's a good one. So you need the same rules for school shooter music as you do for strip club music. You're like, I, right. wa- I just want the song to be as long as possible. Yeah, exactly. It's like it's like drinking to Thunderstruck, playing the Thunderstruck. Do you know what the number one song to strip to at a strip club is? No. Pony by Genuine. No. <laughs> okay. What? Stairway to Heaven. Is it really? It really is. That's, that's a that's a fact. You can look it up that's fucking because it's just so want long. long songs. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but most strip clubs are like, no, you get a three minute dance. I don't give a fuck what song is playing. Fuck so. you, get off my stage. <laughs> <laughs> All, All right. right. Well, Nathaniel, that was a very inappropriate Great. question. That Great you asked. job, Nathaniel. All right, and I'm last, very disappointed. Last but certainly not least, <laughs> <laughs> there's only one answer to this. Hold on. Last but certainly not least. After Billy Mays died, he probably tried to sell God blank. <laughs> Cocaine. 
<laughs> an eight ball. It might have, for actually. Sure. For sure. I'm like, God, you don't have any of this shit up here. Hey, hey, this <laughs> hey. will make you want to sell some shit called Kaboom. <laughs> this will do it. <laughs> yeah. You ever like, wanted to sell that? some shit called Kaboom? What is Sniff that? A little of this. Earth Coke? No, thank you. <laughs> I don't touch the dude, stuff. Uh, we got I, heavenly coke. We've got dude. fairy dust up here. Yeah, we got 72 <laughs> virgins working in the fucking... <laughs> yeah. They live yeah. one town over. That's right. With one guy. But I still use OxyClean to, <laughs> really? to this day, man. To this day. Yeah. So many people do. It just has the word oxy in it. So you're right. like, oh, it's <laughs> like bubbles cleaning it. It's right. like, yeah, Oxy, that's what all Oxycodone, OxyClean, same thing, really. Yeah. Not when you snort it. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Uh, I tell you what, I, I think he's gonna he's gonna get him you know some flex seal. Yeah, get him some flex seal. He's up there with God, and God shows up, and he's on the ship that sails over the clouds, and Billy's <laughs> Billy's sitting there going, he's like, "Hey man, I bet you if I cut a giant ass hole in your boat and put a screen door underneath it and put this flex seal the on ar- it, the ark, <laughs> Noah's <laughs> yeah, ark, yeah, he's all a just big flex seal out yeah. of Noah's ark, and then just flex sealed the shit out of it. And see, see, that's a great product. Yeah, that's that's mine. a good answer, man. I don't. I feel like God wouldn't need anything. You're right. He probably he doesn't. He could probably, he could literally either. poof things out of the air. But just because you don't need it doesn't mean Billy Mays can't, can't sell, sell it, it to you. It's a hundred percent. He could correct. sell a ketchup popsicle to a woman in white gloves. gloves. That's good. Thanks. All right. Well, that is our questions and preguntas for this week's episode. Again, you can send them to us. Obviously, we actually do look at these questions. Uh, if we did not select any of yours this week, uh, it's either A, because we've already done it, or B, they weren't good enough. Right. So You're try prob- again. Probably B, you fucking idiots. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, you can send them to us again at uh, on Twitter, which is at L O T or yeah, L O T sidelines or on Instagram, which is at laughing on the sidelines, send them to us and uh, we'll give you a shout on the show. If we give you, if we like your uh, question, you need a, a dot TV website. So then people can just go and watch on the website. That's a great suggestion. Those are the only kind I make. Yeah. Shut up now. All Thank right. you. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, now we can move on to a very popular part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines draft. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines Draft. Draft. Yeah, man. Uh, last week, um, I didn't win. Who did? Mike did. Did I? Ladies and gentlemen, Mike, Mike Baldwin. Baldwin won. Hey, send your prizes <laughs> right here. I'm about 49 grand in the hole right now. Oh, so. yeah. You're any, doing way better than me. Maybe I should get one of those songs. <laughs> any help <laughs> you can give us. All right. Anyways, uh, so Mike won last week, and um, Derek got second. So uh, that means that I get oh no i think Derek won mike got second so mike i don't know oh. how it works but mike wins on a technicality so mike gets the championship picks jp gets yeah. gets the first Didn't even pick. win and i won uh-huh and i get the sandwich picks so uh this week's draft is going to be our favorite things that have to be plugged in in order to work yeah i want no dildos from you sir oh they mine are all pull start don't worry <laughs> Gas and gas, oil. Gas and oil, baby. Gas and oil. Gas and oil. Gas and oil and KY. Gotta love it. Uh, but yes. No, that's what the oil is for. No, okay. And the gas really gets in you, there. I don't yeah. know if you want petroleum products in you, there. You do. Okay. New things every day. This is an educational podcast. <laughs> that's why we're still up. Condom, uh, condoms are petroleum based. Uh, okay. All right. It's All great. Right. Mm-hmm. Hey. I feel a sneeze coming. Go ahead. <laughs> do guy do gay guys use spermicidal condoms? No. Ah, do we don't use I feel condoms like you don't need all. the word spermicidal. Yeah. <laughs> or condom. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah, that's not a thing. Oh, uh, yeah. That's right. You Wait, can... they have a new shredded beef taco that's grilled cheese on the outside? outside. Oh, yeah, they my do. God. Good old Taco Bell. Live Moss. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah. So this week's draft is going to be our favorite things that are plugged in. Uh, that means that uh, JP, you get the very first pick. What do you got? Xbox. You fucking my know. Xbox man. Got to have it. Got to yeah, love that's, it. That's Got to have it. Video game system. Yeah. Damn it. So that covers all video game yeah, systems. Sure yeah. does. Okay. Uh, all that, right, that, Scotty. That, what do you think? That ruins my fucking day. Uh, but I can tell you right now, living in a place where the climate is extremely different. 
I can tell you when it's really fucking hot, I need an air conditioning. So yeah, where, where that I where that counts where where my uh, thing I'm building a house right now. So what I'm doing is I am wanting the shit that I have to have in order to live. So air conditioning is one of them. You people over in the UK don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Really? Um, yeah, Mike, you get two in a row, dude. Dude, I'm going the two absolute necessities: refrigerator, okay, microwave. Thank God I took a huge gamble. Thinking that I was going to take whatever you're about to yes, pick now? Yes, I was. What is it, you piece of shit? <sighs> well, guess what, JP? You are going to have a long <laughs> staring contest with your video game system when you can't plug it into your fucking TV. Yeah, that, was, <laughs> that was on my list. Yeah, sure it was, and it's not there uh, anymore. Uh, nope. Yeah, you, you stare at that video game system and enjoy it. Uh, you get two in a row, though. So go, Mr. JP. I'm going to go with... Uh, mm, yeah. Surround sound. <laughs> on your on your video My game surround set? Surround sound, dude. Okay. On you your... got to love surround sound. Well, yeah. yeah. Fucking, okay. All right. You have to plug it in. Okay. I'm not going to talk you out of it. All right. All right. All right. Fucking, you haven't watched fucking movie without surround sound. You can't movie. watch shit because no. you don't have a television. Yeah, I do have one. I know you do. It's just but... your favorite thing to plug in. Well, I still have one. Okay. Yeah, it's just not a it, list of... It's the... not a list of you can't have my shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you fuck. Yeah, I know. And, uh... I'm acting like you can't, though. <laughs> my air fryer. Your air fryer? Yep. Okay. <laughs> That's the gayest thing I've ever... <laughs> Dude, air fryer is fucking way better food, than a microwave. <laughs> I, I, don't, I disagree. Okay. I want my food fast. Okay. Air fryer's fast, man. Not as fast oh, as a microwave. Yep. Shit. And okay. better. All right. We, I see a contest coming. Uh-huh. Yeah, I know. You We're, make a burger in the microwave. I'll make one in my air fryer. We'll I don't see want a microwave better. burger. Right. Of course you don't. Because of course you don't. <laughs> microwaves suck. I want... Actually, there's not... I guess there's not a lot that's better in the microwave. No. I want to uh, warm up my cup of coffee. Can you do that in the air fryer? Goddamn right you can. <laughs> yeah, and then you can't touch the cup for 30 minutes. Well, That's right. I mean, put it into a new cup. Yeah. I don't want to. Okay. Uh, I, I guess I'm going to go with the obvious one, which is uh, in order to be able to walk around your house and it's in a dark uh, or it's dark outside, you have to have a lamp or a light bulb. Mm. I'm the only okay. one that's getting around my house right now. Lamp's not good because you already have lights. You, you need to fucking... You got to plug them in, man. Not the lights. Yeah. They're oh, wired, yeah. hardwired. Yeah, yeah, no, they just work. They just through. work. They yeah, get, they're hard, hardwired. Yeah, there is a yeah. wizard. Actually, Derek comes by and blesses them on a weekly I basis to make sure they that work. That still counts as plugged in because the AC okay. doesn't like plug into yeah. an outlet in the wall. It's wired well, to the your house. AC doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have had AC that yeah. just plugs directly into the wall. Yeah, okay. I have too. But yeah, I'm going to say, I'm going to basically okay. say lights is what I'm going to say. Okay. Yeah, lights. lights. Uh, Mike, you get two in a row, dude. Um, let's see here. What do I use? Mm -hmm. You already said TV, video game. I would have said Nintendo Switch over Xbox, but that's just me. And you would have all been wrong because the PS5 is way better. <laughs> it's totally true. All right, this isn't an argument about... <laughs> <laughs> whose video games are cooler okay because we all know i win next right, next, next gotta, draft next draft we do for us three is going to be favorite video game systems okay okay well that's not a draft well i guess it could be oh yeah mine would all be nintendo stuff don't give us your answers okay figure out what you're gonna plug in um my clock yeah because you need to know what fucking time it is I like to have a clock plugged in in every room. I, I have, like to I have a clock in my pocket wherever I go. <laughs> yeah, I do too, but I don't want to have to pull it out. I want to just move it's my a big eyes. Black clock. <laughs> I just want to move my eyes and know what time it is. Yeah. And I hear you. In my, if I'm standing in my living room, I can turn my head to the right or the left or look straight ahead. <laughs> And I can still know what time it is. Okay. I'm just telling you about that while Scotty laughs at your big cock joke <laughs> that you just made. I said clock. He did yeah, say you clock. Did. You're, you're, you're not, reading into it. I did not hear clock. <laughs> and then I, it hit me. So, yeah, the black cock did. <laughs> Mike, you get one more, buddy. Oh, no. Um, picked, oh, no. Hold you, on. Let you, me cheat you and look picked, at my phone. You picked the black clock. I didn't choose a color of clock. Well, I mean, I, my phone's missing. <laughs> I know and it I is. I need one more because you stole mine. I like a nice big clock. 
<clears throat> yep. So I did refrigerator, microwave, and clock. Yep. You get one more. You've already taken television. I sure did. <sighs> Can I say my computer? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'll take computer. I didn't want you to because that's what I was going to take. I was going to say laptop. <laughs> yeah, so was I. I was going to do that one, but no. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I got to save one for my very last pick because it's way too good for me. Um, I am going to go with, let's see. <sighs> what kind of bullshit list is this? Uh, okay, I got one. I got one. I, I'm going to go with something that I didn't have in my very first house. And I loved it when we got it into our second house. And that is a dishwasher. She's a very sweet lady, but she has to be plugged in in order, <laughs> in order right. for her to work. All right. <laughs> Let's take a JP cough timeout. <laughs> so I'm going to go with dishwasher. JP, your final two. Uh, the first one is a box fan. Like my, I, okay. when I, tr I take my fan with me when I travel. Your I know box I, fan. I have to have my fan to sleep. Yeah. I, I don't. Wow. I don't understand yeah. the box fan, but like a a, a circulating right. fan. It's a box. I have to have the box fan because it's like really noisy. Yeah, really I know. Loud, so. I, I get. I totally yeah. understand mm. that the fan thing, the box fan, though, is too loud. No, it's, you it's, like that black noise, awesome. huh? <laughs> I do. <laughs> Jesus, I like my big black clock. And I love my a big, big black fan. Black fan. Yeah, it sure does. Um, He's got probably a couple of them out there. Black fans. And uh, I'm going to go with, uh, oh, let's go with fucking vacuum cleaner. Yeah. Because. It does a lot of sucking. Yeah, man. I mean, dirt isn't the only thing it picks up. <laughs> cum. <laughs> was the joke there. Cum socks. That was a cum joke. Yeah. I bet 20 bucks that both of you have stuck your dick in a vacuum cleaner. I well, have never. You lose that you bet. Lose. I've yeah. never done that. All right. I lose. Um, yeah, I now, did. Have it. I stuck the vacuum cleaner up my ass? Hey, God. Maybe. <laughs> Mine got, yeah, my wiener got stuck in the roll bar. <laughs> yeah, that's the, the bottom. I'm like, is this what they mean about fucking a vacuum? This isn't good yeah, at all. that's not good. It's, it's not fucking, good at all. I've injured myself. There is definitely a pick that I must take in order to accept my me being a fucking failure at life and that is i've i've got to have a printer jp a printer oh yeah yes, I gotta, because <laughs> otherwise how would you get your porn i gotta get my porn somehow yeah. so i gotta have that's a printer a, dude that's probably a really good pick i know that may great, win me <laughs> that's a great pick did you write it down already <laughs> yes i did so now it's my final it pick. Is, it is your final pick all right um gotta go coffee your coffee maker mm -hmm. i figured uh, that that's that's a good pick for you that makes sense that's all whoops uh that's all you make see i'm just shooting area. for victory this week i'm keeping it simple you i'm are. choosing things that everyone wants <laughs> like a clock <laughs> people want to know what time it is <laughs> i mean like oh yeah they want to know what time it is okay and how would you do that without a clock <laughs> yeah exactly well how would you get wind without a box fan it's possible <laughs> exactly, exactly. I don't know. there's these are things that we like all kinds yep. of people they don't shit on me wanting to know what time it is shit like get a stick and put it in the ground i have no idea what time it is right now i'm looking around this room i don't see one fucking clock on the wall <laughs> that's because i don't 28 it's I don't need to, you to tell me. You know how we know? Because there's a fucking phone. Yeah. But uh, we did say that phones do not count. You can't do that. If it has a battery that you can unplug and it'll work, then that was kind of one of the stipulations. Uh, but did we have but any... But my computer is not a laptop. It, <laughs> it has is, to it be is. plugged it is, it, is, it's yeah. a, it is a PC, so okay. that that is why I was going to let right. that one go. Awesome. Um, but anybody else have any uh, like honorable mentions? Uh, my wife would kill me if if we did not have Curly a space... No, space, space heater. heater. Yeah. She, gets, she gets extremely hot in the summer and extremely cold in the winter. So she needs both of those. Uh, the internet Ugh. thing. Yeah, the router. The router, uh, yeah. An electric blanket was another one. Oh, I've used one of those before, but I don't. it doesn't make me sleep well because yeah. I'm just My thinking, grandma like, I used hope this one. doesn't catch on fire. Yeah. My grandma used one like as long as I could ever remember. She would, 
well, uh, we're probably going to be going to bed here in about 15 minutes. I better go plug in my bed. Uh-huh. Go plug in my bed. <laughs> yep. Oh, shit. Uh, you got you to gotta have a toaster. Just in case you want to kill yourself. You can just use an air fryer. Yeah, or you an air could, fryer. Yeah. I have a toaster oven that I... Uh, that you would use it to kill yourself? Uh-huh. Yeah, just take a bath. Uh, but anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that is our draft for this week. You can go to facebook.com slash laughing on the sidelines and vote by clicking on the corresponding emoji on the list that you like the best, or you can go to Twitter slash X or whatever the fuck they're going to call it at L O T sidelines and vote, uh, the regular way where you click on the name that you like the list of the things that you like the most that have to be plugged in. Uh, but now we get to move on to my favorite part of every single episode. This is the laughing on the sidelines shitty situation of the week. Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is this week's Laughing on the Sidelines shitty situation brought to you by not even a sponsor yet, but I want them to be a sponsor because of the fantasy football league that I am in. I wanted to give a shout out to trophysmack.com. All right. They actually sent me my own custom belt a couple years ago that has my very, very attractive face on there that says best damn podcast host of all time that's pretty cool and then actually also our championship belt a lie <laughs> <laughs> no it's true oh, no it's true man i mean he's got the belt i do yeah, he does. you wouldn't and have that if he wasn't the best true and then also our, obviously our fantasy football championship uh for our new league uh but go check them out they have trophies they have rings especially um if you haven't already drafted probably be a little too early but they have draft kits too which is pretty fucking awesome if you have a live draft uh, but go check them out at trophysmack.com. Good friends of the show. Thank you to them. Plus, like you can get a trophy for anything. <laughs> you really can. If you got some money, if you, you want to smack my trophy. Absolutely. I mean, but you could it would be like a nice thing from a wife to her husband, you know, like Absolutely. best yeah. husband, best dad. Yeah. Best uh father figure yeah. who's not my dad. Best black clock. Best, best in the, big in the black house. Clock. Uh-huh. In the house. It's yeah. got to be small enough, though, that you can uh, fasten it to the clock <laughs> right. itself. Yeah, Wait, right. Is, did this clock win an award? It may have, but definitely go check them out at trophysmack.com and uh, trophysmack.com. Uh, give us a call. Yeah, and as long as we're uh, <laughs> mentioning companies that we wish would sponsor us, uh, Tires Place <laughs> here in Wichita. No. <laughs> if you're interested in becoming a sponsor, all you got to do is get me four new tires, <laughs> and I will mention you every time I'm on this show. <laughs> And right. if you don't own a tire place, but you still want to support <laughs> the tire fund, the tire fund, <laughs> go ahead and click on that yeah. screenshot or whatever. Yeah. This is going to work someday. No, it's not. No. Uh, but anyways, this week's laughing on the sidelines. Shitty situation is probably one of my favorite in a long, really, really long time. Uh, and it is. Would, <laughs> would you rather star in a kinky sexual instructional video with Aunt Shirley or star in a YouTube instructional video stretching out your asshole. I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> of and I know you what you think I'm going to say, but <laughs> Anne Shirley was a fox. <laughs> no, uh, I'll have to go with the, the butthole stretch. Oh my I'm going to have to go with the, with the spread my butthole on, on YouTube. That's I don't like that. I don't either. And it's, it's not just that I've got I don't a very, very attractive butthole. You know, it's JP. It's JP though, too. And I here's the good thing. Care of it. He would, he would make it to where people would be randomly searching stuff that everybody searches. I mean, it's just like, Oh yeah. Yeah. He would it's make not, it. No, he would yeah. make it the number one searched video on YouTube How? somehow because he would be like, I don't know, whatever's trending that day. And then he would hashtag, hashtag the groundhog fuck. day. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. I think he came out. <laughs> That's disgusting. Yeah. And, and he, he, would, he sure ran right. I don't know if he ran out or if he ran back in or fell back in. Oh, God. Yeah. I mean, he would seriously make tens of dollars He's to do that. He's trying to get <laughs> No, that, that's what I said off the air earlier. One thing that I will definitely not click on if I'm looking through porn is anything that has the word gape in it. 
<laughs> I'm yeah. just not. That's not a thing for me. So, I'm not interested. So you're gonna. So I'm basically, gonna you're gonna yeah. star in an, in a gape instructional yep. video with Aunt Shirley. No, uh, no, he why? Is. It just says kinky sex. It doesn't say gape. And but if the, Shirley brings but, up gaping, hey, I'm gonna be like, not say gape. I'm gonna be like, this was the other choice. You can't have the same thing. Happen with both. I that's forgot like, to uh, tell you. I what forgot is that? to tell you. And Shirley was a gaper. That's like uh, death. <laughs> death by uh, what is that thing called? Death where, by gape. <laughs> no, where they they the guys like you can <laughs> Mr. either Fister. You can either uh, we can either kill you or you can do uh, whatever weird word it is. And the guys like, well, I don't want to die. I'm gonna pick the weird word. And they're like, all right, death by whatever the weird word was. No, but I can't. Think I don't of, know. You've never heard that joke no. before. Nope. Some a listener has. Okay. Hit us up. Tell me what that I'm not a fucking idiot. Uh, you're not. Or tell me that I am, but that I'm also correct. Okay. Um. Well, Aunt Shirley, let's go, girl. Yes. Uh, dun, 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 that is the correct dun, 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 answer. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah, that's all. It was. <laughs> no, I think it, maybe it's up here. That's what. No, that's the noise no. Aunt Shirley's vagina makes. There it is. Yeah. Now do the want want again. I don't know. <laughs> That's the sound now of imagine an a vagina <laughs> making that noise. <laughs> That's the sound of a gape. How do All you right. do that? I don't know. That's craziness. All right. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for another excellent episode of the Laughing on the Sidelines podcast. Me. Do us a favor and go if you are in the Ohio area, like in the Toledo, uh, what do we call the food that they have? The chili spaghetti? It's not that, but I'll be at the Toledo, Toledo. Funny Bone right. uh, this uh, Friday and Saturday. I was supposed to be there on Sunday, too, but it's now it's a, a Jimmy Door is going to be there. And I was really hoping that they were going to let me open for him, but he brings his own people, so yeah. I, I don't get to. Yeah. Anyway, Friday, Saturday, Toledo. Come about, see me. How about you, JP? Are you? Uh, I got nothing. You got nothing? I got nothing. You man. do have something, though. You just don't know it yet. All right. Yeah, uh, you got some stuff coming up. Uh, we do. I do actually. Uh, JP and I actually have something coming up uh, very shortly. Yeah. Is but it the JP's listeners, wiener? No. Oh. The, the listeners would actually be very, very excited for who's coming on the show next episode. Who? Um, I, I mean, he's got a lot of nicknames. Uh, a lot of people like to call him the legend. That's yeah. one. Uh, the myth is... Is the other? Oh wait, you're not talking about. Uh, I'm actually talking about a gentleman who's the 1984 Kingman County T-ball Defensive Player of the Year award no winner. Fucking way, ladies you got and that gentlemen, Jeremy Mr. Joseph. Jeremy Joseph. Yeah, what? He, yeah. How'd you nail him down? Well, he's kind of lost a little bit of weight, and so his clothes are a little baggy, and so they're easy to touch and grab. Smart. Yeah. Uh, but anyways, no. Uh, Jeremy Joseph will be on next week or next week's episode. We're gonna record it a little bit early because I'm having some construction go on in my house. And so Jeremy volunteered to help out. So uh, tune in for next week's episode. It'll be a fun one. Let me tell you that. Uh, but ladies and gentlemen, especially all you new listeners, thank you so much for tuning in. We sincerely do appreciate it. And as we always like to say at the end of every episode, guys, do us a favor. If you like us, tell your friends. And if you don't like us, uh, go uh, lick your aunt's butthole. <laughs> If you don't like us, plug it in, plug it in. <laughs> Tell your enemies. Until next time, guys, keep on laughing, assholes. We will see you later and take care. <laughs>